back again in the canyon of ducks. And my island is completely trashed. Completely trashed, stuff everywhere, can't seem to get control of it. I was really hoping throughout the week I could make some uh, progress towards paying off my loan and then working towards, you know, getting all this stuff into storage. Luckily, I did manage to earn enough money to start this day by actually paying off my loan. But it's not going to be till tomorrow, you know, when I can actually start tidying up a little bit. So there's that to look forward to. I was hoping it would already be done, but it wasn't done. Uh, I want to shout out to AJ, who did send viewers over here. I'm not sure exactly when your stream ended. Uh, we are just getting started, so if you're here from AJ's stream, welcome. Uh, welcome to those of you who jumped in. And uh, yeah, this is Canyon Duck. Uh, we have a bunch of stuff to do. We're going to hopefully get some decorating done. I have some other just general tasks that need to be done too, so it should be fun. Um, we we need to try to like detrash our island a little bit, and there's one way we can do it. We'll get to that in a little bit. So I'm going to pay off my loan first and foremost. I have 400,000 bells, only 200,000 uh, left to pay down, so let's go ahead and just do that. Done. Okay, cool. <sighs> that feels good. <laughs> Let's beg Tom Nook for an expansion on our house. All right. I must thank you for your diligent repayment of your home loan. I must ask where your payments by any chance motivated by the de desire for expansion. Just storage. Uh, because if so, I have good news. I would be more than happy to extend your credit for further construction. Do please come see me. Yes, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm seeing you right now about it. Hook me up. Uh, about my home. I want to expand. I believe another room would give you extra space. Uh, the extra space you desire. Oh, it's only three quarters of a million bells. You know, whatever. Whatever. No big deal for me because, um, you know, I'm rich apparently. Uh, everything should be ready for you to buy tomorrow. So exciting. Okay, cool. Yes. Great. Fantastic. Cool. <laughs> yes, I'm going to beg him to take my money. Um, hello, everybody. Welcome. Chump change, really. Uh, so a whole bunch of stuff has been happening here on Canyon Duck uh, since you last joined us. Whole bunch of things. I've been trying to take, you know, photos along the way. And uh, I don't exactly know where these start. Maybe maybe right in here somewhere. So, yeah, let's let's get into these. <laughs> Yes, that is right. It is time for a museum expansion. Sometime, uh, you know, last week or something. Uh, the museum expanded. We now have a coffee shop in the museum, which is very exciting. Uh, Sahara joined the town for stretches, which was great to see. Uh, I won a game of high card, low card against Sherb. It made him look like an idiot, which felt really good. Uh, I visited Captain Island and found some vines and glowing moss. That made me feel pretty special as well. Uh, and then I learned a DIY recipe, but you'll never know what it is. It's actually the giant vine. It's the giant vine. Um, I started getting patterns from Sable, which was very, very exciting as well, because those patterns are amazing. Uh, and then Flick also joined us for some stretching, which means I was able to sell some bugs, make a little bit of money. You'll also notice that Drake is uh, fully in embedded now into the community, which was great to see. Uh, I had my first cup of coffee. It did not come with any pigeon milk, which actually was quite a relief. Uh, Celeste gave me our, our first Celeste recipe, which was awesome. Sherb wore the duck shirt. This is not my duck shirt. This was one left by somebody else. My villagers are starting to wear these around the island, which is pretty cool. Um, it looks like stretches for some reason. Um, I learned how to cook a fish. Isabel said the Kix was in town. This was our first visit from Kix ever. So I went ahead and bought some things from Kix. I had more coffee. I learned to cook something else, probably a fish. Kix joined us for some stretches. Bob tried to throw this hot grease on my face. Uh, he was unsuccessful, threw it in his own face there. Um, it looks like uh, Hopkins here was happy about something, or O'Hare, rather. Um, oh, yeah, I was being complimented on the way I dress. So the villagers are noticing my designs and complimenting me. 
Um, I learned how to make a barrel that has turnips in it. it. I have to use 30 turnips to make it, so I'm a little bit indifferent about that. Uh, Pascal stole a scallop from me. Um, I sold a bunch of sea creatures, made a small fortune, and uh, there's there it is, 208,000 bells. That was how my day started. And uh, yeah, that's your breaking news. There you go. Um, it was it was good times. You missed a lot. There's a lot of things that happened uh, while you were away. So yeah, but nothing nothing too huge. Obviously, I just paid off my loan. One thing I haven't done yet is paid a visit to Harv's Island since I was invited to head back there. Uh, you know, now that it, it seems the uh, the next part of the game has kind of opened up to us. So I want to go there today and buy our first plot on Harv's Island. I, I don't exactly know which one. Maybe we'll put it up to a vote. I got Drake during our villager hunt last week. It was awesome. It was an epic moment. Um, all right, Sherry's here. We'll just we'll just talk to you real quick. I was trying to find a recipe. What I'm trying to do when I when I log into the game at different times is you know grab all the recipes I can, because yeah, it's it's hard. It's hard to get recipes. Uh, let's see. Let me just kind of walk around for a little bit before we go to Harv's. I want to find this recipe. Um, oh, my fish collection. Look at this. CJ will not visit. I can't get him to visit, but when he does, I'm going to make a small fortune, which is going to be fantastic. No one's crafting over here. All right, let's run through the junkyard and see if we can find somebody who's crafting something for us. Want to try and do some decorating today? Definitely, uh, definitely overdue for prettifying the island. And then just so you know... This week, um, we are not going to be able to participate in the Sunday markets. The Sunday markets are uh, are going to be instead a broadcast of the last race, the lost race, the last lost race. Um, I'm being asked about fashion again by O'Hare. Uh, what is normal? I guess I can get down with normal length pants as long as they don't look normal. Uh, normal is the worst. You don't wear pants. All right. Top messages versus all messages. Let me just kind of, yeah, let me, so you guys are seeing a filter now in the live chat. And you're saying that it's it's separating top messages and uh, live chat, okay. Yeah, O'Hare's house is pretty cool. I, I, I moved it over to live chat, but I'm not sure if I was missing anything or not. Who's your favorite villager? Uh, me. I do all the work anyway. It's definitely me. What do we got here? Kid. No one is crafting. What is going on? What is going on with the fashion questions? How long do you like your pants? Maybe you can help me ex help explain something. I like long pants too, but sometimes they're too long. I hate walking on the heels of my pants and ruining them, but I hate rolling up my cuffs. Okay, this is kind of crazy, but hear me out. What if I just wore pants that were the exact same length of my legs? Uh, the sacrifices that have to be made for fashion. No, no one wears pants except for me. Wear longer pants. I don't want to wear longer pants. He makes a good point. I don't want to step on the pants. But why is everyone obsessed with pants today? What's going on? Why is everyone talking about pants? I don't know. They just need pants advice. Okay. Oh, Drake is cooking something. Please just be like french fries. I just need something made out of potatoes and I'll be rich. It's pickled veggies. You can make all you want once uh, you know it. Okay, cool. Yeah, show me. Give them pants. Okay, fantastic. Pickled veggies. What is this going to be made out of? I have so many pumpkins and potatoes. Oh, it's everything. I need carrots, potatoes, tomatoes, and pumpkins. Orange pumpkins, excuse me. <sighs> Dang it. <laughs> yeah, he's cooking some pants. He's cooking up some pocket lint. Pokemaster, how's it going? Okay, so we got the crafting recipe. Well, let's do this. Let's head over to Harv's. Uh, I want to try and buy our very first 
plot on Harv's Island. This is going to be awesome because there's a few different very obvious choices for the first one. Um, and we'll, we'll probably have you guys vote on them. There's a few I'm not even going to bother putting in the poll. But uh, yeah, we, we need to figure out what the first one should be. So let's start heading over to Harv's. Um, I want to fly to Harv's Island. All right. It's our first big investment of Canyon Duck uh, off island. So, yeah, this is going to be an excellent day. Let's get into this. He started a new island, the people named it Canyon Duck. Really seems like he's trying, collecting a whole bunch of stuff. These puns, they have him crying. I mean, they are just really rough, and he's been doing art mode. He thought he had it hard enough. Peekaboo, a duck's favorite game. Uh, Canyon Duck is the island's name. Uh, there are so many puns, it's unbelievable. Brace yourself, but tell me how you're feeling, though. I had to throw in a rap verse like a Drake. Let me know when you're done, I can wait. Let me guess how many more puns Dan can take. No, please. Let me keep going, don't waddle away. What language does a duck speak? Portuguese, how does a duck surf the internet with web feet? Hey, that's foul. But what else could it be? We're all flocking to the canyon that refuse to see. Will the duck cross a road? He's been crossing for a minute. I quack myself up. I promise we're almost finished. It's just pun after pun. I know your boss singing it. Would you believe me if I said I was winging it? Okay, that's a good yes. one. He started a new island. The people named it Canyon Duck. All right. Oh, I thought I would have flown there already. I guess I had to hit one more button. Um, yeah, so the poll is up now. So one of the tasks, of course, as you're mentioning in chat now, is that every day you need to get your fortune told from Katrina. As far as I'm aware, that doesn't necessarily mean you have to unlock Katrina first, but Katrina is definitely on my short list. Um, so I think morally the right thing to do is unlock Katrina, which I don't mind. That's fine. Um, strategically, I would love to unlock either Red or Leaf first because Red is going to give us access to a lot of art every single week. We'll be able to fill up our art museum pretty quickly. And then Leaf obviously is like holding a hostage some crops I need to make any food at all, like wheat. I need wheat really, really bad. Um, so Leaf is somebody who I'm considering as well. Um, I've already read all this before, so I'm just kind of like casually like tapping through it. Um, you know, uh, Harriet and Harv go way back. They're obviously into each other. Real will they, when they kind of situation going on here. Um, <laughs> will they and when will they? So Harv wants to start a collective. And uh, he needs my money to do it. Leave it to me. I'm going to see if I can get a haircut today, too. I want to start unlocking these hairstyles. Hippie gold. All right. So let's let's unlock Katrina. Katrina's won on the poll here pretty easily, actually. So thank you for your votes. Uh, we're accepting donations for a mysterious, accurate, mysteriously accurate fortune teller. Our goal is 100,000 bells. Um, e e son of a gun. Okay, hold on. Um, I forgot to grab my money. How will weed affect the Sunday market? Um, 
I think at first, oh, they didn't give me the ABD yet. That's a bunch of nonsense. Are you serious? Why isn't this here? Can I at least get my hair cut while I wait? Um, at first, everyone's going to freak out over wheat, and then once everyone has wheat, I think money is going to be a lot easier to come by, because those cooking recipes are going to be really OP for getting money. Do I not get a haircut either? Harriet does not care at all. I thought we could only have four 3 by 3 plots of crops. Uh, there are some rules as to what you can harvest, I think, but I don't know about what you can have. Let me double check that. It's been too long since I've read the crops rules. Um, you can only have three by three, four three by three plots for selling crops. Uh, crops must be in bunches of three to harvest. So maybe you guys can clear this up for me because, yeah, that's what I was remembering. The word selling on the top right there, you see it? You can only have three by three plots of crops for selling. Does that not mean that I can plant as much as I want, but only sell, you know, the four three by three plots. That's how I was interpreting it. But it does seem a little bit like, that seems like a strange rule when you consider it that way. Like why wouldn't it just be, no, you can only have this much crops and that's it. That's correct. I think you should have crops for cooking. That's how I read it too. That's what I thought too. Plant more for cooking. Like fruit trees, you can have more to use for crafting. Okay, so yeah, like I'm never gonna just sell raw crops. That's why I'm holding on to all my potatoes and pumpkins. I keep harvesting them and just holding on to them because I'm ne I'm just never going to, you know, why would I? The other question I have for you uh, is, can I buy two of these right now? Or can I only do one at a time? Because if I can buy two of them, I can just spend all my money right now. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna withdraw the max just in case. You can cook and then sell, can't you? Yeah, exactly. It's one per day. You can only do one per. Okay, 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 cool. Oh, Animal Crossing. That's fine. I forgive you. I gave up on hard mode last week. I'm tired of not being able to just sell things. It is a slower start for sure. But I love it. I, I love the uh, self-imposed limitations. Animal Crossing does not believe in multitasking. No, it hates it. Um, it totally hates it. Great entrance. Thanks. It's not much yet, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping it turns great. All right, fly over to Harv's Island again. Was really hoping to get that haircut. I was looking forward to that. But that's fine. Baby Yoda has it going. Uh, I found a way around the having to wear self-designed uh, clothes. I got my daughter to do it. <laughs> the only part I hate is designing a shirt to wear. I miss getting to buy my clothes. Yeah, I, I can see that. I, I'm enjoying it for now. I think I'll come to a point where I kind of miss just buying the outfits. But for now, I'm enjoying it. We're going to make something today, too. I have an idea. Uh, all right. Here's all the money. As much as... You know what? Here's just a bunch of nines. Take it. A new co-op will open soon. Sweet. All right. So we got Katrina. I think next is going to be Leaf, honestly. Yeah. Next is going to be Leaf. Will you please cut my hair? <sighs> Dang it. Am I going to build a canyon somewhere? I, I'm thinking about building a canyon somewhere. I had an idea for that, too. There's, yeah, there's a couple plans that I have today. Uh, one of those plans is to begin terraforming what should become my own personal property. That's one plan. And that could be within a canyon, I'm thinking. The other plan is to make a new shirt, which I can do here in a moment. I 
I have an idea for a shirt. Um, it's a very, very specific one. Very limited time design, you know. Uh, a very, very limited, very rare, very coveted. It's fun seeing all the different directions critters are going with hard mode. When are we going to add another duck villager? Hopefully one day when, when somebody leaves. You do need to move you live in a junkyard. Um, look at this place. I found a gas pump today. I didn't mean to come back here, but look at that. That thing's sweet. I'm definitely going to use that somewhere. Okay, yeah, everything's... Yeah, my storage is completely full. Um, okay. Let's start designing the shirt. Let's start here. So, I have a very specific need right now. I need a shirt for tomorrow... No, Sunday, for the Lost Race. That's what I need. Uh, so, we're going to take this design and change it. And I need a... I'm thinking a tank top. I don't know the weather conditions over on Trongi's Island for the Lost Race, but I'm going to be running around. I'm going to be playing really hard. So even if it's cold, I think a tank top is just fine. Uh, we're going to make ourselves kind of like a, a jersey of sorts um, for the Lost Race. That's the plan. So what's the Lost Race? Great question. The Lost Race is a competition... Uh, that's been going on for many months now. It's hosted by Trongy over on his channel. And, uh, okay, I just totally backed out of that. <laughs> and it's essentially uh, a competition between two teams. Myself, Kato, and EJ are on a team. And we're trying to win the championship right now. Uh, there's a whole bunch of lilies hidden around this big, big Animal Crossing map. This entire island is dedicated to this race. We have to find more lilies of the valley than the other team to win. And we have a base. We have to defend it. It's it's chaotic. It really is. Um, so I'm thinking about how I want this jersey to look. And I think I want to start with like a base color of like the the kind of like the blue that we've been using um, throughout Canyon Duck's kind of history. Um, capture the flag with flowers. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's all I had to say. And I th I'm thinking... Like, how is this thing going to look? Like, we should start with the back, right? Like, a jersey usually has, like, the name of the person on it. And I want to be, like, representing Canyon Duck when I go. So let's, let's just start with my name. I don't know how, how wide I should space these letters out. This might be too much. It's kind of funny, like, all the letters are pretty much the same shape. Yeah, they need to be thinner. Let's go thinner with this. Okay. And we need to bring them closer together. Okay. Wrong blue. Okay. Are we still skipping two squares? I guess we are. I'll, I'll try and reposition it. What's this, five? All right. Mm. Too big. Yeah, it needs to be smaller. If it's gonna kinda go like over the back Look, this is kind of the position I want it in. All right. Here, let's let's bring this down yet another block. And we're also going to shrink it to about here. Lettering is so difficult. Okay. So somewhere in there, get our eraser. Okay. 
This is gonna look good, don't worry. Okay. How's that? Onion? I'm not spelling onion. What do you mean onion? It kind of does look like I'm starting to spell onion, but no, this is not, that's not what's happening. Okay. <laughs> there, done. <laughs> <laughs> it's not done. Uh, let's see. We'll round out the letters. Yeah, there we go. That feels very Jersey-like, I think. Looks more like, oh no. <laughs> uh, why don't we try... I don't know, something like that? much better. The font feels very like it doesn't feel like a sports jersey still. It, I'm, I'm kind of missing that. How's it going, Kata? Are you excited for the Lost Race? That's what we're that's what we're doing right now. We're prepping my uniform for the Lost Race. Um, should I do a capital N or do you think the, the way I did this is fine? Capital N would kind of look like Something like this. Huh. Okay, well that's that's interesting. Yeah, we'll do we'll do capital N, even though it looks kind of funky. If you're number five, then you can kind of make it look like it's yelling like all the ducks in your drawings <laughs> put white around the letters oh that could look cool it's going to take up a lot more space if i do that but like you know will that look good anyway uh i'm indifferent I'm looking at it on the small jersey, and it's, it's kind of, I don't know. I kind of feel like the letters themselves should be white instead of white around the letters. Let's do that. I think that already looks better. Yeah. Do it down the backs of them. So yeah, what if we did what if we now we did like a black accent on the on each like I don't know. Is that cool? Dark blue border. First stream here. Welcome. How are you? Uh, we, we're focusing really hard on a custom design right now. I do think the white looks better. Make it so the letters are just one space apart instead of two because it looks really spread out. Uh, you're not wrong. All of your suggestions require me to redo the entire thing. <laughs> Why? Why can't I just have this? It's not the entire thing. I just have to... It's just a lot of it. It's just most of it. That's all. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Something like this. Yeah, that's better. This is good. So we have we have my name on the back of the jersey now. I don't know if I should give myself a number. <laughs> what if 
What if my number was pi? Would that be funny? Like everyone's got a, a number on the back of their jersey. What if mine was pi? I kind of think that could be pretty hilarious. So let's let's try this real quick. Mm -hmm. Let's actually do that. We'll go in one more. Do pie. <laughs> uh, how many spaces should we go out here? So that's, I guess I set it up to only do this many. Now it looks like an 11, which is fine, but I, I need, I was wrong. I actually do need it to be a little bit further apart. Okay. Okay, and then let's let's bring it down just one step here. Oops. And then for pi, I think what we need is cuz it's like squiggly at the top. So, I have to I have to kind of like do something like this. Does that look like a pi symbol? Let me see. Pi symbol. Uh, all, the, all the symbols for this are like not what I was anticipating. Palm trees. So yeah, I, I want to show you this, but I can't right now. Um, maybe I can. Yeah, so it's 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 more of a straight line at the top, according to this font anyway. And then the bottom kind of comes out, and then like this kind of does this here. So uh, yeah, I guess I guess I kind of need to refine this a little bit, huh? All right. So what we're gonna do is I might I might keep it like this and then I'll I'll take the white symbol we'll kind of we'll go out like that with it um or I'll take the white marker I should say we'll we'll kind of do that I'll I'll refine this further and then we just go across the top like this but it does that and that okay that's looking better already and I think if we yeah, that looks good. Yep, 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 yep. I think that's... What do you guys think? There it is. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so that's my, my jersey with my name and my number on it. Now we need to do the front. Um, so the front is where they usually put like a sponsor, right? On like a... A soccer jersey. Um, soccer jerseys. Let me let me just see something real quick. Yeah. So like, I'll show you this. These jerseys have the logo kind of like stretched across the the front. You know, we got we got who made the jersey, the the actual team logo and then Purina or whatever garbage is sponsoring them. So we need to do that for us. But the sponsor is obviously the Island of Canyon Duck. Right? What what's what's the team symbol? Kato, are you still here? What's our what's our team's symbol? I need to put that in the in the corner right here. And yeah, it's just a shouting duck is basically the sponsor. I don't know if Kato's still here. <laughs> oh, the airport doll should be the sponsor. Ducks, I guess. What's no our team? What's our unifying symbol? The I I'm putting a duck on for me, but like you and myself and EJ, like what's our? We don't have anything. Should I just make up like a little 
crest or something. How would I draw that? I made it the opposite of what I wanted here. Let's see. A cloud? That doesn't make any sense. A little orange badge with like a, a symbol in the middle of it like that. Um, maybe not, maybe not that. We'll do like a, that looks like something. Yeah, that already looks like something. Clouds are cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. You guys just don't, obviously you don't have a knack for this. It's fine. I'll do it. Never mind. I'll figure this out on my own. I was trying to involve people. I was, I was trying, but never mind. Okay, so I need a I need a duck's head. And I think I mean I'm I'm tempted to just go with this. Wait, no, 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 no. keep editing. Um, I'm tempted to just go with that. Team phrases I hate it here. <laughs> um but this is kind of big, right? Like but it maybe it should be. And should it be like a lighter? Let's start with a lighter green, but I'll darken it later. And let's go into yellow here. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll make our 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 duck bill. Uh, something like this. Okay, that's good. I'm getting better at this. And this is going to be our battle cry. Um, which is just quack. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. Okay, so we got our we got our duck shouting and we got to draw its eye. It's it's looking straight up into the air. It's, you know. <laughs> Here, I need to make a larger eye. I need everyone to see this. This is going to be on TV after all. A little more dramatic. I like that. Okay, cool. This is looking very sports. I like it. So now we have to, uh, now we have to go in and make a couple of adjustments. First of all, let me just try something real quick. If I get, if I go to tool and I get this, if I move this design, does it, okay, it does not affect the back. Okay, that's good. Because I was going to say, the duck is a little bit off-centered. I think that's actually better. And then I'll have to move our little crest that we made kind of back over here where it was. Ah, it's still too... Okay, that's better. Oops. Its position still looks strange. Like when I look at it on the actual shirt, this thing looks goofy. And maybe we need to raise it up too. So like somewhere in there. That's probably better. Yes. Yes. All right. Let's go into the color palette. And uh, we're going to... That one's fine. We're going to change this one. So we're going we're gonna to darken this green just a little bit. Let's 
Somewhere in here, maybe? I don't know. I might need to change the blue now. That's a little... Let's see. Okay, that's... I like that blue. I want the green to pop off of it, but I still want it to be like a lighter blue. Let's try that. I think that's pretty good. We need some white stripes. I'm going to do some like uh, like some trim on it. I think this is blue is as dark as I can get it. You know what? The, the white really pops off that, which I like. It's the green that I'm really troubled by. The, the green duck's head is not popping off the way I want it to. Danyan duck. So let me, if I lighten it, it looks kind of like crap. That's a little more vibrant. Okay, that's a bit better. Need some shading. You want me to shade the, what is this? I have to shade the duck now? How would that work? I'm not, I didn't do good in art class. So would I do that on like the bottom and kind of the back maybe? I can lighten this green, but like something like that maybe, but much lighter. I mean, this thing got a little bit too fancy uh, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, just like that. Okay. So now we got to get it closer to this green. What about that? It's very subtle. Gives it more dimension. I think if we do this, we need like an in-between color. Five o'clock shadow duck. Can you copy a color without having to like, I don't think you can. Well, here, let me, let me just go in with like a lighter uh, green now. Okay. Uh, this is hard. You can't copy a color which stinks. Yeah. I was trying to kind of fade it into the, you know, the green that we're using for the rest of the duck's face. But since you can't copy a color, it's almost impossible to do. I have to, like, literally go into the color palette, go into here. Okay. Okay. So push B, go into here. I think it's this on the hue bar. I think it's right here. So if I... Okay. Yeah, okay, it's right there. Perfect. So I'm on the same green in the hue. And then if we go into here, the vividness is one, two... Okay, two from that side. So go over here. One, two, there. Okay, there's the vividness. And we go into here. And the brightness is on the fourth from the right. Okay. Okay, that's the same color. Now we were just lighting it like one, like that. This is ridiculous. Does that look good? Now you see a fish? Kato ruined our duck. <laughs> Can't unsee. <laughs> uh, all right, all right, fine. Here, I'll, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Okay. 
Oh, wait, I'm just making more fish now. Hold on. Stand by. I was gonna I was trying to move the eyeball. It didn't work out that way. Okay, something like that. I figure if the eyeball's closer to the front, maybe it looks a little bit less fish like. <laughs> Yellow fin. What do I do about that? I can't do anything about that. It's a duck fish. Guys, you're ruining my shirt. I'm just going to move on to the trim. That's what I'm going to do. If I gave it teeth, do you think that would help it look less like a fish? Like if I just gave it some duck teeth? No, now it just looks more like a fish. It's an optical illusion. Ducks don't have teeth. Well, I just wanted to solve the fish problem. Okay, that's all. I was just trying to solve the fish problem. The head's a little bit too small. I'm I'm going with it. I'm going with it. We're moving on to the trim. So the trim is going to be the, my my attempt at this anyway is going to be to get like a white collar around the uh, well around the collar. Um, and in order to do that, I think we got to, let's see, start somewhere in here. These are like really difficult to do. I wish it was more straightforward. I don't know how they would do it, but. Oh, you know what we can do? ZR. At least now it'll be symmetrical. Let's see. No, we need more. We need more white. We need to. It just looks like I spilled paint on the jersey. How's, how's that? Is that? Uh, <laughs> Got a shade under the tree. No, I don't. I don't have to do that. Make the inner line blue again. Are you talking about this one? No, that's not. That's too... Welcome to the world of pixel art. Well, I hate it. It's not supposed to be like... So outspoken, but... Yeah, I think I think I pretty much have to like do something like that. If I want white trim around it. Backseat designing. Okay, cool. I think this is fine. We can move on to the back of it. Thinner looked better. Uh, I don't know what to do. Maybe that was better. I'm just, I'm staring at the tiny little shirt on the left. It's very difficult to, um, ugh, it's so difficult to see. I'm just going to, yeah, you know what? It does look a little bit better. I think I'm going to go with that and then move to the back.
Yes. Sort of. The shoulders are not getting enough attention here. You noticing that? I think we have to like come out a little bit with the shoulders. I'll do the armholes, don't uh, don't worry. Well, I'll try to do the armholes. I think I'm just going to mess that up too. Um This is insanely difficult. I I didn't think this would be the hardest part. I thought we would just throw some trim on it. It would just take a minute. But the more I do, the more I'm like, well, wait a minute. Now it doesn't look right. And I think that's good. I think that's as good as I'm going to get. Okay, what about the armholes? How does that even... Okay, I found... I found where they start, I think. Somewhere down here. Okay. This is just ridiculous. Do you guys see how difficult this is? This is the hardest thing I've ever had to do in this game. Okay. <laughs> Do people actually enjoy doing this? I'm not. This is this is so this is so hard. Why? Why is it like this? It should be more clear what I'm what section I'm working on. It did work. I got I got the little armholes the way I want them. I'll move to the back now. I think I have to be on this side to get it lined up with my brain. Okay. Almost. There we go. Okay. And I think we have to... Let's let's just go straight in. Yeah, I was okay. I was being really careful for no reason. How's that? Maybe we Well. Yeah. Looking good. Okay, last one. It's just the bottom. Nice and easy. All we have to do. See that? Look at that. Gorgeous. We did it. <laughs> we did it. We made a jersey. Oh my gosh. That was intense. Canyon duck um, sports. <laughs> the little preview looked really bad. Let's wear it. Look at that. We're ready. We're officially ready. <laughs> um, 
I'm going to assemble the rest of this outfit on the actual day, on the day of the game, which is Sunday. But for now, we're going to change into our OG jersey. How's that? Or not jersey. Hoodie. Yeah. Sports. There we go. So we changed it into our original hoodie. Duckfish pie. No, terrible name. It's confusing because it's not fish or pie. And anyone who thinks that is wrong. Let's now go. I'm, I need a break from, from designing for a minute before we start terraforming. So I'm going to go to a Captain Island. See if we get anything cool. Your number is pie, though. Yes, it is. <laughs> I forgot, I forgot it was pie, the number. I just, everyone kept calling the duck a fish, and I thought I missed a conversation about the duck looking like a pie, which really confused me, but now I understand the pie reference. It still is just the candy duck sports. Uh, that works for me. Oh, yes, we got more vines. Excellent. I'm not going to chop all these trees or anything. But I will raid this island for vines. Thanks, Kellen. We can call it Daniel Tuck. We can save that name for, for something even better. I don't know what. Yeah, moss as well. We'll grab all that. Ruined Broken Pillar. Great recipe. How did you get the snow windows? Uh, they are a recipe that... Pops up in a balloon, I think. I think that's how I got it. Yeah, they're awesome. They're my favorite. I, I think they're just called, like, snowfall windows or something. I don't know. I don't remember what they're called. They're great, though. They're my favorite, favorite windows. It's, uh, the only thing about the snow in Animal Crossing that I get excited about is I can put up my windows again. And they'll make sense. So we're not on a money rock island, which is fine. I had to check. Mostly I wanted to come by for the potential crafting materials, which we did get uh, with the vines and the moss, and then the recipe. I Last time I was on one of these islands, I grabbed all the shrubs. I could grab these ones, but I have no use for them right now. Like, I, I'm not going to be decorating the shrubs just yet. So I think I'm going to leave it. I'll leave those behind this time. Definitely happy to take vines and glowing moss. Which I can also get on the Happy Home Paradise Island. So we won't be without them. So we got a gyroid, we got vines, we got glowing moss. I don't really feel like gathering any resources while I'm here. So I think we can just go back and, and start making our plans to terraform. You're over the snow already working on the summer island. Yeah, these are nice shrubs. I, I do have some on my island. They're not they're not sprouting right now, I don't think. But they still look nice. Cool, that was worth a thousand points, I guess. I think for the ruined broken pillar, it actually wasn't bad. Okay. We did that. We're good. Let's show you guys where I'm thinking for the house. You skipped the captain song. I did skip the captain song. Been there, done that. Um, <laughs> okay. So, uh, unfortunately, I can't point at anything. But if you see where my player is on the map right now, this is kind of where I was thinking for my house. On the, the, the north... Uh, east corner of the island. 
I was thinking that because it's already kind of terraformed in a similar shape to what I was thinking. And uh, I'm going to want a lot of space, too. And so I can kind of take over this entire corner. Um, the reason I'm picking this side is because of the secret beach. I thought it'd be kind of cool to have my house to the right of it and then have like some, some access, like a little path going back to it. And we would put it all in a canyon. So I'd basically terraform out a lot of the mountain that's there now and uh, create kind of like a canyon looking, a big canyon where my house kind of sits in the middle. I don't know what that means for the rest of the villagers. I have no idea. I was asking in our Discord today if anyone could just start sending me like pictures of different neighborhoods that might work. Uh, I don't know where the villager homes are going to go yet. But I know that that's what I want to do for my house. So that's what we'll do. Sounds like a plan? Cool. Yeah. Um, I'm a little bit intimidated because there's a lot of uh, stuff in the way. But we'll start at the top. Uh, I think what I'll... Whoa. Hey. Do you guys see what I see? This is a nice branch. Do you guys see this branch? That is a nice, that is a nice branch. What a treat. I, I had no idea this was up here. It was just sitting there. Oh my gosh. Whew. Okay, sorry. Is it hot in here? Anyone? Everything okay? Maybe it's just me. I don't know. I think maybe the heat's on. It's pretty hot in here. Um, dang. That is that is a good looking branch. It's probably the nicest branch I've ever seen. Mm, okay, what, where were we? Oh my gosh. It's very distracting. Um, we're, we're tearing down mountains. That's what we're doing. We're tearing down mountains. I'm thinking of chopping down the majority of these trees for two reasons. One, they could be replanted, and two, I wouldn't mind the supplies. So I'm gonna throw these away. <laughs> I'm just gonna toss the flowers. Actually, we can sell these, right? We're allowed, no, wait, I can't remember. Are we allowed to sell the flowers? Either way, they're going away. Yeah, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a, a cold shower after finding that branch just sitting there like that. Oh my gosh. It's very unexpected. <gasps> I need to make sure I don't get stung by anything. Like this. Whew, okay. <laughs> I'm glad I opted to shake all of these before chopping them down. <laughs> I'm going to save some of them. Just not all of them. What's happening? We are we are about to start some terraforming. I'm just I'm prepping the area. Oh my gosh. I don't have this yet. Wait, come back. Yes, I caught a spider. Oh, that's just literally just called a spider. It's not like a special kind of, it's not like a tiger spider or something scary like that. Just spider. Oh, I'm glad I, I'm glad I did that. Okay, good. This is going to be good. We get a bunch of supplies. Maybe we'll break an axe or two. I can't reach this tree. There we go. I'm very nervous about the terraforming project we're about to take on because I have not done any kind of math. I haven't planned this out using any kind of like island editing tools online or anything. I'm just kind of going with the flow. 
And for me, that actually works out pretty well. Usually when I, when I design spaces like this in Animal Crossing, I like the way they turn out when I don't put too much forethought into them. So I think this will be actually pretty cool. Uh, there is one thing we can kind of consider. You're winging it, correct. There's one thing we can kind of consider, and that is how it lines up with our paths. I have not yet determined the path layout for this island, and we're kind of going with kind of a symmetrical thing. So chances are, if I place this house just right, and by just right I mean just wrong, I could maybe mess myself up in a pretty big way. And then the paths won't line up, and it will be a thing. So we'll probably get like a rough idea of the terraforming done. And then I'll consider the road to the house. Where it's going to cut through. All that stuff. I already have this bug. You're trying to catch the string fish and you're just getting black bass. Did you see the community post I made the other day? I caught the string fish, string fish first try. I've just never, it's never happened before. It's so rare. And I, I popped up on the uh, cliff. I'd never even tried to fish there before. And it was the big shadow. So I threw the line in and I pulled out a string fish immediately. And that was it. I've never fished in the cliff since. Didn't need to. I got my string fish. How could you put a pie in your jersey and not do any math? Listen, I'm not a nerd, okay? I used it ironically. I don't know what to tell you. It took you 30 fish bait to get the string fish? Whew, dang. Yeah, that would upset me. I'd be I'd be annoyed. I, I have, a, I think, somewhere around 100 or so bait saved up because I'm planning on trying to catch the blue marlin and the tuna. And I know that if I, you know, tried to do that on the same day, make bait and try and catch it, I would lose my mind. So I did a, I did the bait already. Now I just have to actually try and catch it. I think the rules say I can't sell flowers, right? No trading flowers, no selling fossils. Okay, so I can sell the flowers. I can't trade the flowers. I think the trading refers to other people. So we will just sell these right in here. For not a whole lot of money anyway. I don't really know why I'm stressing it at all. I'm just coming in here to put a few things away. I think I can fit a little bit of stuff. These, some of this, nope. Um, some of this. Here we go. Branches. Nope. I can definitely fit the moss and the vines. Maybe this? Nope. This? Yes. Okay. Food. I need food. Do I have pears? No. Let's go find some pears. Yeah, I have to use the box. Uh, I know it takes 20%, but we did use the bell boom ordinance, so that 20% is kind of canceled out in that sense. And because of hard mode, I'm not allowed to sell things, to, certain things to Timmy and Tommy directly. I can basically just sell them items that I craft myself. Uh, so if I'm just going to put raw materials in there, or trees, or flowers, or whatever, yeah, I can't, I can't just bring it inside. Per the rules for hard mode. Um, which are linked down below if you want to see all of them. I know they can be kind of hard to like keep up with. There, uh, there are a lot of them, and I constantly forget. All right, place. I'm trying to get us uh, just a nice clean inventory for this. All right, I'll place that down there, and that right there. Oh, what are you doing? Do you put sea creatures in the box? Yes, I do. 
I, I did that last night. Oh! Hold on. We got we got a few thousand bells just fluttering around over here. I did that last night to uh, really great success and got myself another 200,000 bells. Paid off my loan today, which felt really good. Cool. That's for Flick. I'm not allowed to sell my bugs or fish to the Nooks. I have to wait until Flick or CJ come by. So that's why I'm saving those on the beach for now. Alright. Are we ready to terraform? No, we're not. We need to find pears and uh, turn them into food. Okay, I had a feeling I was going to lose one in the fence, but that's alright. I'm probably going to lose two if I do this. Oh, no, I got him. I got all three. Look at that. Cool. Got all three again. How does this hard mode compare to a regular island? Do you enjoy the challenge? Uh, yeah, I, I already kind of played Animal Crossing like this. Basically... Hard mode came at a good time for me because I had just finished my Gold Core Island and I had no plans on resuming any kind of design on that island. So I, I found myself um, a bit of an Animal Crossing free agent. I, I had not a whole lot of things or, or stuff that I could possibly do. So we were doing some dream tours and playing some other games. Everyone started playing hard mode, so we jumped in. I, I deleted the Gold Core Island because it's, you know, you can just visit it via dream address. So that's saved. And uh, yeah, I decided to start this island. And the limitations of hard mode are fun. They're not too dissimilar from how I already play the game. There's a few things that are, but for the most part, this is already like... I already put myself through a lot of torture when I play. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, it, it just fits right in with the way I like to play Animal Crossing. I'm enjoying it. It's, it's kind of like rebuying the game all over again. drink. I'm doing this because I want to save some of these trees. I know I'm going to want to use them in this build. Otherwise, I don't really mind replanting them from, from babies. I've been doing hard mode all along. <laughs> hard mode was inside of us all along. Okay. So, let's pop up here. Oh, 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 oh. What is it? What is it? What is it? Colorful striped sweaters. That's garbage. I can't wear it. That is one of the things I wouldn't normally do. I would norm I would normally not deliberately go out of my way and like decorate my own clothing or pads. I would usually I would just download stuff. That's what I do. I think for a lot of people that's the hardest part of hard mode. Having to download your own designs. There's not as many trees up here as I thought. Where am I right now? Okay, we're right on the edge of where I might be doing the terraforming. I'll take this tree. Uh, and I'll take this tree. And that should be good. I'm, I'm probably, if any more trees get in my way, I'm probably just going to chop them down. Now I can go to my main island and say, oh yeah, I can design pretty islands when I have access to other people's talents. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's been a few guides that I've looked up for making my own custom paths, and some of them are within reach. I think I can probably pull some of them off. Some of them, not so much. Like, one of the things I love is having little rocks, like just little stepping stone kind of rocks. And I looked up a guide for one of them, and I wanted, I wanted to just throw my computer away. It was so much work like the amount of work that people put into those cannot be understated it's it's incredible the way people design this stuff i have nothing but respect for that that level of talent um even following a guide i'm not super stoked about making those myself and at the end of the day 
If I follow somebody's guide to a T and make exactly the same little stepping stones that they made, in a way, does that not feel like cheating? Like, isn't the whole point to like try and make the stuff ourselves? But I'm just like copying someone else. I don't know. I'm going to learn a lot, I guess. So I guess that's part of the point. You're going to learn how to like do pixel art that you couldn't do before because you're you're learning by copying someone else's work. I'll just look at it that way. There's no way that I have the patience to do my own path. Yeah. You found Sherb wearing my hard mode shirt today. It's crazy to see. Congrats on finding Sherb. My motto is, you did it with your own hand. It counts. I guess. Oh, I haven't unlocked the cliff editing tool yet. Oops. Let's go do that. Well, I've been saving my uh, Nook Miles. Let's go take care of that real quick. I'm going to start by removing the top layer of the mountain. And then we're going to start carving out a space for my home from the lower layer. Redeem Nook Miles. And Cliff Construction. 6,000. Cool. I'm ready to cliff construct. Really need inspo for my island. I'm used to doing Pokemon themed islands. That's cool though. Yeah, our Discord is is pretty good for that. You know, there's there's a handful of folks on there hanging out, sharing pictures of things they've built, things they've seen. And that's, as I was saying earlier, that's what I'm hoping for, is someone can maybe help me, you know, find find some stuff to uh, inspire me to make a different neighborhood for my villagers. We won't be canyonless anymore. That's right, we have a duck, and now we're about to have a canyon, a proper canyon. Now, unfortunately, this is going to take a minute. So, I don't know, what do we do? Do we need some... Um, oh, and it's going to take even longer if I keep doing that. I need some duck vibes. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at this. Did you lose a sturgeon? How did I do that? I didn't do anything. What is going on, on, on? What did the duck say to the waitress? Put it on my bill. I wonder if I should do a villager hunt or if I should autofill. Dan, you're so funny every time you talk. You really quack me up. I'm already doing hard mode. Is that not hard enough? Okay, hey Dan, I just got off work. How much did I miss? Hey, Ren. Um, well, we bought our first Harv's Island um, commune plot. I don't know what you call it. Katrina's going to be in Harv's Island tomorrow. Um, and now we're doing some terraforming. We made a jersey, which uh, you'll see on Sunday if you hang out for the Lost Race. I do hope everyone here checks out the Lost Race. That is Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern. If you uh, if you didn't know what time it was, I'll make sure the stream is scheduled beforehand, as always. We're playing for the championship. Uh, it's myself, Kato, and EJ. And uh, just a fair warning, uh, EJ does tend to let swear words slip out from time to time, even though we beg him not to. So just, you know, get your, get your ear earmuffs ready. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it should be a lot of fun. 
It usually lasts about maybe two hours, all, all said and done, like getting everyone on the island, going through like the, the starting rules and all that stuff. And then the actual game itself is about an hour or so. So yeah, I would say it's it's between one and a half to two hours in terms of uh, overall event time. But there's going to be, yeah, on Trongi's channel, that's where the main event's hosted. That's where, like, the commentators are going to be. They're going to be switching between different cameras, checking out other people's points of views. And then every person who's participating is going to be streaming to their own community. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Who are you playing against? I don't know. Do I really? Do, it doesn't matter. Like, at the end of the day, we're playing against the losing team. So why bother learning any of their names or their backgrounds or anything about them, really? It's just there's a lot of stuff that I have to keep in my head, you know? And, you know, there's certain information that I think people just kind of deem subconsciously as useless. And once you have that in your head, that, oh, well, this is useless, useless information, it becomes really easy to just kind of forget it, you know? And that's what happened in this case. I have no idea who we're playing against. It doesn't matter. The goal, like when you're when you're doing a competitive event, the best thing you could do is not humanize your opponent. Okay, treat them like they are the Animal Crossing equivalent of ChatGPT. Just a dumb robot, doesn't know anything, and your goal is to conquer it, embarrass it, and that's that's how I'm approaching this race. You know. We're playing against the losing team, so why bother? Exactly. What? Why is everyone getting so offended? <laughs> what is wrong? I don't get what... I don't understand what I said. Everyone seems really put off by those comments. How do you screen record Nintendo Switch? I use a capture card. Uh, there's all kinds of capture cards in the market. Elgato makes the ones that tend to dominate the market. Um, but yeah, it, it takes an HDMI feed into your computer and lets you do with it what you will. Your head's going to pop if it gets any bigger. I'm not saying I'm any good. I'm just saying my team is that good. I'm just kind of there. It's not, it's not really me that has the ego. I'm just a realist. That's all. You're the weak link. Correct. Yeah. You'll probably win because Kato and EJ are so fiercely competitive. <laughs> Death before losing. <laughs> I was the international crossing equivalent of all state... Wait, chances are that I would have beaten you. I'm confused. It, whatever you said sounds impressive, so yeah, it's probably true. Oops. Cross country. Okay. I was going to say, what? <laughs> yeah, you won't, you won't catch me running anytime soon. So, yes. Well, this terraforming is going great. Who knew all you had to do was talk trash about other people on the internet and have so much fun that time just flies by? Got my head stuck on your channel name. No, that's good. That was part of my strategy. So it's working. If you see me running, it means you need to be running too. <laughs> yes. That's a, uh, yeah. Good litmus test to know if you're in danger. Look to see if I'm running away. Uh, you're doing a canyon. I'm yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna make like a little canyon to stuff my house into. I think it'll look pretty cool. Terraforming's relaxing. Waterscaping's a pain. I think tearing down mountains can be relaxing because your goal is just flatten. But building them and trying to get everything lined up right, that, then it becomes stressful again. Why did I choose the channel name? 
Uh, because I started making like really short videos and they were about Animal Crossing. There's not much more to it than that. You spent two days terraforming? Are you trying to flatten your island? Oh, Alex, I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully you feel better soon. In cross country, it's actually unusual to meet someone who's a nasty competitor. Not saying that's you. I know you're just trash talking. <laughs> um, so it would have stood out. Yeah. No, I'm... I'm, uh... Whatever the opposite of competitive is in, in reality, that's me. I, I like... I like saying inflammatory things, but I definitely don't mean them. Uh, the other folks we're playing against did good enough to also get to the finals. So that uh, that in itself makes them very worthy opponents. I mean, it's a shame they wasted their time getting all the way here to lose, but, you know, worthy opponents nonetheless. I flattened it, but rebuilding the cliffs is way more time consuming than I expected. I get that. Other runners are supportive of each other. You got COVID two days before a Harry Styles concert couldn't go. Oh my gosh. Yep. I don't envy that. I'm sorry to hear that. We're almost done tearing this mountain down. If I would stop trying to rebuild it subconsciously. What it is, my controller, it, I don't know if it has drift. It just doesn't... I don't walk a straight line, so I keep having to, like, correct my character's uh, position. Dinkum vibes? Yeah. Oh, man. Dinkum's fun. Are you guys excited about the Dreamlight Valley updates that are coming? They just announced... If you play Dreamlight Valley, they just announced a bunch of updates. Oh, there you go. There's valley spots there. Valley Spot must be excited, I assume. Dust gets under the rubber of the Joy-Cons and causes them to drift. Yeah, this is a this is a Pro Controller, but it has the same problem. I actually cracked it open not that long ago and, and got all the dust out, so it's working better, but I think it's starting to accumulate dust again already because it is doing that again. Yes, can't wait. So excited, can't wait. When do the Disney updates drop? I think sometime next month. It seems that way. I, I forgot what the promo material said, but uh, soon. I came here to calm down after I rage quit a Maribel dress design. You are in the wrong place if you're here to calm down. That's we are. We are talking trash about people on the internet. I'm. I'm. I have it out for myself. I think drama could drop at any second. Did I stop playing Stardew Valley? It's not that I stopped playing Stardew Valley. It's that I'm just currently on a Stardew Valley break. No date, only no February sometime. I know the current star path is over, and that's usually like a telltale sign that, you know, things will be happening soon. You think around February 9th based on the end of the star path? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Not, not that exact date, because I don't... I don't have a calendar in front of me, but I was thinking because of the end of the star path, we'd get an update. Okay, so this first layer is gone. It's officially gone. That's fantastic news. I, I just started rebuilding it. All right, excellent. Next on my agenda was to clear out a good chunk of this that I'm walking on now that's in the middle. But I want to do so in such a way that preserves a little bit of the canyon vibes. So this part right here might stay. I'm going to say February 3rd because that's a Friday and I want to play the new update all weekend. <laughs> okay. I have to decide how much space to like I need to leave myself. What do I do? Let me look at the map. If I want a canyon, like canyons are not going to be like 
perfectly symmetrical, like uh, my paths down there. So, I think what I need to do is, uh, well, let's dig ourselves all the way to the back and uncover the secret beach, and we'll kind of, we'll work on shaping it from there. I, I don't think we should worry too much about shaping it. We should just get the land cleared out first. It's already kind of in the crescent shape that I want it in. I just needs to be way further back. Do you have any coffee suggestions? Uh, you, well, I like to grind the beans fresh. Uh, that's, that's a big game changer. I don't know. I don't have any, like, specific coffee beans. Because, like, depending on, because I do a lot of, like, online shopping. And a lot of times, whatever grocery stores deliver, they'll, they'll be out of stuff. And that, that upsets me. So I end up having to continually keep changing my coffee brands. So I don't have any, like, ones I'd recommend off the top of my head. I do like a good, like, Italian roast, dark roasts, you know, stuff like that. Always really good. But, yeah, it's it's hard to come up with anything super specific. Does grinding your own beans help with the bitterness? Uh, definitely sugar and milk help with the bitterness. Um, it The flavor just feels more fresh when you grind your own beans. Um, and then... You know, just uh, the you grind your own beans, and uh, if you if you have like a good coffee maker, it's not it's not like bitter in a way that's kind of gross. I don't know how to describe it. It's you know they always say coffee is an acquired taste. I'm at a point now where I can drink it black. I used to not be able to do that, but uh, you know, got good enough equipment that I can do that now. So it's it's kind of nice. But I still I still put like a ton of cream in my coffee, <laughs> generally speaking. Pika, how's it going? Bitterness varies depending on the roasting. Blonde roast would be the best start. That's a good point, too. Yeah, I do a dark roast a lot, so I'm probably used to more bitter. I started drinking Death Wish coffee. I'm not, like, a coffee expert, by the way. I'm definitely not the authority on this. I want coffee again. Depending on your grinder, you'll get a fuller flavor because more of the natural oils from the beans will be part of the final cup. There you go. See, we got some, we got some coffee nerds in here. This is great. I should be taking notes. What's the most caffeinated coffee? Because I'm going to need it for speedrunning the next star path. <laughs> I drink a lot of decaf because I used to drink way too much caffeinated coffee. So now I limit myself to one cup of caffeinated. And uh, one thing you can buy are coffee beans that are done in such a way. It's called the Swiss water method. And I don't know anything about it. But all I know, it is the most decaffeinated you can get in terms of decaf coffee. So that's what I do for most, like right now, like I have a giant cup of coffee in front of me, but there's, you know, next to no caffeine in it. You drink specifically iced coffee. Nice. One cup, that's some willpower. Well, I mostly do it for the comfort, right? Like drinking one cup, I feel like I have more energy in general because I'm not like depending on caffeine anymore, which is really cool. Um, and now I, I literally just drink coffee for the pleasure of drinking coffee. I don't drink soda. I don't drink juice. You know, I don't, there's a lot of like sugary drinks I deprive myself of. So like coffee's my thing. Water and coffee and sometimes tea. You get more caffeine from a medium or blonde roast actually. Oh yeah, right. Like, uh, I think dark, doesn't dark roast because it, it, they, they have to roast it for so long. You actually lose caffeine that way. I'm not trying to make a maze. <laughs> I'm just trying to terraform as efficiently as possible. Oops. And I'm messing it up. I drink coffee for pleasure. I have too much energy. Even around 5.30 a.m. and 6 a.m. Typical breakfast coffee are medium roast. Dessert espresso coffees are dark roasts. You like your coffee? Like you like your men ground up in your freezer. Okay. All right. Um... <laughs> <laughs> not judging just uh hadn't considered that we switched to french press last year so i'm also begrudgingly down to one cup a day that'll do it 
like some coffee with my cream and sugar. <laughs> I know somebody like that. Redhead, how's it going? I don't like coffee and I prefer tea over it, but I drink my black tea without sugar. Oh, blue over green is uh, allergic to tea. All right, how much more of this do we have? Oh, we're almost there. Okay, okay. Coffee combos of flavors in coffee like peppermint. During like the holidays and stuff, yeah, I do, I do like that a lot. I had to learn to love coffee. Caffeine makes me tired because I'm extremely ADHD, but I'd like to drink more coffee, especially in the winter months. Yeah, when it's cold, I tend to have even more. It's uh yeah, it's a lot. How's it going, Edward? Welcome. We're terraforming and talking about coffee. Drink my coffee black in the morning, and if I need to pick me up in the afternoon, I'll add some Chobani and sweetener as a treat. Wait, you add you add yogurt? Am I understanding that right? You add yogurt to your coffee? Is that good? Drinking a lot of cocoa lately. I haven't had cocoa in a long time. Get a ton of caffeine from cold brew. Oh, they have a creamer. Oh, okay. I was thinking like about yogurt and coffee. It'd just be like a really thick cream, I imagine. All right. We got ourselves down to, uh, you know, about 50% of this almost. Just have to go in now and uh, take out the rest here. Condensed milk to the coffee. No, don't do that. People add butter to coffee, so the yogurt doesn't surprise me. Butter's basically just cream, just like in a different form. So that one th isn't too surprising. Okay, we're close. We're, I, I, I can feel it. We're getting close to being uh, done with this. Well, <laughs> done with the initial flattening. No condensed milk slander. What? I'm sorry. I just... What is it? You know? What even is that stuff? How do they do it? A country that has cheese to coffee? I need to know which country that is. If I ever start traveling the world, I need to know to avoid that one. <laughs> cheese in coffee. I can see having cheese with coffee. It's a weird... It's probably a weird uh, dance of flavors on your palate. But uh, putting it in the coffee is a bridge too far. Butter and coffee is a keto thing? I think it is, yeah. I've always wanted to have... Affogato ice cream and coffee together. Never gotten around to it. All you gotta do when you're next time you're eating ice cream, just dump it in your coffee. Then you're done. That's a pretty easy bucket list item. Start with cream and sugar. Keep topping off with plain coffee. <laughs> Sejan girl, how's it going? Cheese and coffee sounds like something the Europeans would do. Oh, my controller's dying. No. I'm going to have to switch to Joy-Cons. It's Columbia that adds cheese to hot chocolate. Quit making stuff up. You guys are just making stuff up now. Red Space, how's it going? Cheese to um, coffee is like one thing, but hot cocoa is straight up like a dessert drink. What the heck are you adding cheese for? 
cheese on apple pie? I like cheese as much as the next person. I like apple pie as well. Yeah, cream cheese is different. Cheese of the cream variety is fine, but I'm thinking like a hunk of cheddar, you know, being shredded into a cup of coffee, and it's making me very upset. This is the surface, like this is the bottom layer, right? If I if I chop this away, I can walk onto the, okay. <laughs> it looked really tall from that angle. It's freaking me out. Yeah, cheesecake with coffee, that's something. Cheese and apple pie is divine. Don't knock a tea try. <laughs> is that like the French fry and the frosty thing? I don't know. I think you guys are just making stuff up. You're just trying to think of like combinations of things that are that are like gross and you're you're all just making it up. Fiona, how's it going? Uh making your tummy bubble thinking about cheesy coffee. Is that, does that mean you want cheesy coffee or you, you're thinking of like vomiting by the thought of it? I'm confused. We promise it's real. I, I don't know. Columbia has mozzarella and hot chocolate. Why? Just drink hot chocolate. It's okay. Stop trying to make cheese coffee happen. Yes. Chatter coffee with apple pie. Some people eat Nutella and cheese sandwich. Dance palette is boring. It is. <laughs> I'm not even mad at you for saying that because it literally is. I imagine, imagine drinking coffee, but there's a big cheese pull after you take a sip, like a hot cheese stick. Okay, so I haven't touched my coffee. I haven't touched my coffee throughout this whole conversation. And I don't think it's because I'm terraforming. My hands are full right now. I think it's because y'all are just making me sick. I was happy to talk about different kinds of coffee and things like that and hot chocolate, whatever. But now you guys are putting pizza and coffee and, you know, wearing donuts as glasses. And I don't know what's happening anymore. Cheesecake with coffee is really... Yes. But that's not what everybody said. People are talking about taking like Swiss cheese and shredding it into a cup of coffee and serving that to their cats and uh, it's cruel it's messed up pizza coffee is where I draw the line <laughs> okay so I, all my all my initial flattening of this area is is done now which is good we need to we need to get like a sense of how much space we have for activities because my house is going to go towards the back and then I want a big farm in front of it. It all goes to the same place as my mama says. <laughs> Let's remove some of this back wall here. Perfect. Sounds as bad as duckfish pie. <laughs> I want a rock garden so bad, but I don't know if I can have the patience for it. Wait until your island is mostly complete. Like once you have paths and, and furniture everywhere, it becomes a lot easier to do the rock garden because rocks have like just inherently less places to spawn. That's how I do it. As a cat owner, I can tell you that kitty poopy is one of the worst smells known to man. I can't imagine wanting to make coffee from beans. What are you talking about? What is... I... I must have missed some part of the conversation. I must have missed some horrible part of the conversation. Anyway... Anyway, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, let's see, look at the map. Okay. That's a good amount of space. I'm looking at that flattened part next to uh, the secret beach there. 
I'd say it's a pretty good start. So the cliff on my right, most of that's going to kind of stay in place for now because I want to make like, I want to put my house in like some canyon looking mountains. Heard of it. I don't know why it's a delicacy. People just need to like eat candy bars and stuff. They don't have to, they don't have to go to such lengths to, you know, get simple pleasures in life. All I'm trying to do is design an island. The conversation was fun, and then it got really weird and really dark really fast. Um, okay. So, the way I've set this up, I was thinking my house would go here. You'd walk around, and you get to the secret beach here. Unfortunately, I didn't leave myself with a lot of room on this side, now that I'm like standing here looking at this. I use designs to plot it. Yeah, I'm, I might. Um, but yeah, before I do that, if the house went here and like partially covered the secret beach a little bit, like maybe it, it was lined up with this rock, <coughs> excuse me, then that would leave me more room on this side. I need to, okay, here's what I need to do. I need to look up the dimensions of the, uh, the house. So ACNH house dimensions. I think it's like seven by five. Here it is, okay. Home, five by, no, that's not, resident home? Oh, that is, yeah. So your home is five by four. Five by four, okay, yeah, we got it. Five by four, all right. So let's just let's just say we put it here. One, two. Do I just have to ignore chat now? Three, four, five. Okay. Two, three, four. There's the house. Uh no, I don't. I'm, yeah, I'm just going to skip all those conversations. You guys have fun. Uh, my firm is re-rolling for an island name from the name generator. One came up as Duck Canyon. Well, did they choose it? Because I will, I will sue your friend. Thank you for the super, by the way. Maybe I shouldn't sue them because it would be rude. You did just send a super chat. You can ignore any part of the chat. Thank you. I'll take you up on that. Oh, by the way, um, if you're a member, you may not know this, but yesterday we started a, uh, a fun new series for members. Uh, we started playing New Leaf. I don't know how often we're going to play. You know, once in a while we'll play some New Leaf for members, but we started a new life in New Leaf. So uh, if you missed that, it's it's up on the channel now. Streamed for just a little over an hour yesterday. It was fun. I didn't get a chance to let you guys know because you were all talking about pooping out coffee or whatever you're talking about. Um, but yeah, how much cliff is left here? Um, you know what? We could eat into this a little bit. If I want more room, let's let's just shear off this part right here. Oh my gosh! I mourned with you when the snowball fell in the river. <laughs> No, he didn't. He was just showing me the names, but I saw that name. It made me laugh. <laughs> duck Canyon. I I think I think they got the better name though, because Canyon Duck is like, it should be Duck Canyon. That's like a more normal name created by a sane person. Did you play the song? Yes, I've played the song many times. <laughs> I learned so much about New Leaf. It makes me sad I don't have it anymore. I got sad because I don't have Wild World anymore. Um, I got rid of my Wii U a long time ago, and I never bought it on the Wii U. I always had it on the DS. And I went digging through my old game collection only to realize I must have, like, traded it ages ago, like, during, like, an offloading of old games. And I wish I had kept it. I don't know why I didn't. I'd go back and play Wild World. I hope they continue to re-release old Animal Crossing games on the Switch. That'd be really nice. All right. We need to decide on 
the paths. Destroy, destroy, destroy. Thank you for the super. I don't know what you want me to destroy. I'm getting a little... That one sounds threatening. Um, I, I was excited to see the super, but then it just yelled destroy over and over again. Hopefully you just mean the terraforming we're doing. Anyway, I was doing paths that are... What's going on here? Oh, I have to talk to you. Please don't move away. I'm really hoping you'll take my serving cart. Yes! Yes! I'll definitely take that. Give it to someone else. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which one is this? Oh, it's the white one. Nice. Making fish bait is making me miss treasure islands. Exterminate, exterminate. <laughs> Is everyone excited to wait almost a full year before Doctor Who comes back, by the way? Because I'm not. Rosie has great taste. She does. You're praying the old Pokemon games get released on the Switch? Yeah. Nintendo likes to hold their old games hostage. I never played New Leaf. Animal Crossing New Horizons was the first Animal Crossing game I ever played. Thanks for all the supers, by the way, Sagon Girl. Appreciate you. Um, yeah, that's... I feel like that's a pretty common thing, too. The doctor reveal was fun, though? It was. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of dying from the doctor who wait. It's hurting me a lot. So, my house is an uneven number of tiles, and the path I chose was four tiles, which is very annoying. Why did I do that to myself? What am I supposed to... What do you guys recommend? Should I... Should I narrow it down? To, like, should should four be for, like, the big main streets? And then it goes down to three? When we start going north? I guess that's a possibility. Hmm. Are you excited to have RTD back as the showrunner? I am. But I, you know what, I, I was never a full-on hater of the show, even even in the most recent season. Like, I know a lot of people, like, ditched it. But I didn't mind what they were doing most recently. I'm just excited that, uh, you know, I feel like they're going to get back to their roots quite a bit. Yeah, what if we did three tiles? Let's let's just assume we're going to make our, our paths around the island three tiles wide. And if so... Uh, what I was thinking was this road would lead all the way to my house. And as you're walking up to my house, there's going to be, like, farms and stuff. So we'll just kind of bring this down and see how it lines up. I thought Jody was great. I thought Peter Capaldi was great. I think the writing in a lot of episodes did not do them a whole lot of justice. <laughs> but yeah, I'm a big Doctor Who nerd. Happy to uh, see some changes. Oak! How's it going? Is Oak here? Yes. How are you? Everyone should check out Oak's channel. I thought the tree was going to block the path. <laughs> um... I just keep narrowly missing rocks and trees as I'm doing this. Technically, I've been playing Animal Crossing before New Horizons because I, <laughs> I downloaded Pocket Camp. After two seconds, I got bored and deleted it. I did too, but I didn't delete it. I just kept it. <laughs> I got bored and I kept it. Yeah, I'm not a big Pocket Camp fan. Um, I've tried. I've played a little bit, but... So, yeah, this path would be three wide. Shut up, controller. You're embarrassing me. And it would just go straight up like this. Do we like that? So imagine this path that I'm standing on right now connects, like it keeps going south and it connects to the big main road, you know, down there. Is that cool? Or should it be, I don't know, should it be more like winding I think it's kind of cool. Like, how often do you see these super symmetrical 
types of islands. Because what I could do is my house is there. I can make a path that is, you know, symmetrical with, with this one. Symmetrically placed. And have it go to, like, the villager neighborhood. Going to cry seeing 10 and Dr. Donna die again. <laughs> Excel Edge, thank you for the super. Yeah, that's going to be... Those specials are going to be awesome. Put some kinks in it. Found GameCube Animal Crossing game. I need to pull up my GameCube and give it a play. I remember the grind. I don't remember the grind. Yeah, it was a... That was a grindy one for sure. Put tons of wheatgrass so it looks winding. Make your own path. I don't want to make my own path. <laughs> Hold on. Let me... So... I want to try to get this path to drag down and connect. Let's get rid of this. Okay. So it would it would literally come up from here. I'm not ready to tear all this up yet. But it'll, yeah, from here it'll go up through here. All the stuff will be gone. There'll be things on the road along the way. Like, it's not going to be just nothingness walking all the way up to my house. But I do think that going in a big straight line does work really well for my, my design style. Which is, you know, everything's very symmetrical. <laughs> and we can also... You know, make make different roads coming off of this one too. I made my first custom path. I used a tutorial guide. I think it's decent. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try making some kind of path element. It could be stepping stones. It could be a little I don't know dirt path. I don't know yet. I'm definitely gonna try, but I'm not ready to yet. Are we bringing the cliffs down to the road too? I'm gonna bring the yeah. I'm gonna like. I think I might bring the cliffs in. I don't know. There's gonna be like a canyon. I want it to be clear that you're walking into like a canyon area. But I haven't exactly decided how that's going to look. You want me to widen it? If I widen it, then it won't match the... And I need space for my farms, too. We have to trust the process. Yes, trust the process. That's a good way to think about it. Just, if you're looking at this and going, oh, you're making the most boring island ever. Got it. Just trust the process. Time to do a Doctor Who rewatch marathon <laughs> this weekend. I've been, like, every, I would say, week or two, I'll put on one episode from, like, David Tennant's era. And just, I'll, I'll watch that before bed. I'm just kind of, like, slowly savoring some old episodes. Windy, not wide. Make it more curved. I don't want to make it curved. What am I supposed to do with that? Have you watched all of Who or just New Who? I've watched... I went back and tried to watch the old stuff. And I've watched quite a bit of it. But I've not seen all of it. I've seen... All of the third Doctor. I've seen a good chunk of the fourth. That's about it. Because I the black and white stuff was so slow, I just couldn't, I couldn't hack it. My favorite episode? Oh, I don't know. I don't, you know me. I don't have favorites of anything. My favorite episode? I don't know. Okay. Got some trees out of my way. I'm going to need to uh, eat some pears, I think, and get rid of some more stuff. Like, i got to get rid of this rock that's in my way. Season 1 of Doctor Who was rough to watch. I did it, though. <laughs> yeah, I, you're stronger than I am. Oh, gosh. I'm, mess I'm messing up really bad. Okay. I can't seem to aim anymore. What episode is my go-to rewatch? I just I usually just pick a season and then hit play. 
My husband watched them with the stone angels and my daughter was freaked out by them. Those are scary. Yeah, those things are freaking terrifying. I read a lot of novels with the old doctors and then helped me get through the older stuff. I can see that. All right, let me eat this. Which one's your doctor? I don't I don't know. There uh there's something I like about all of them, I think, right? Wanted to watch it, but never got the chance. Didn't have cable. Netflix took it off <laughs> when I went to. It's uh, it's on HBO Max if you have that. And pretty soon, it's probably going to leave there, I imagine. But pretty soon, it's going to be on Disney+. Plus Because Disney, I think they bought all the streaming rights for the U.S. Very non-committal answer. I don't pick favorites of things. I, I don't even have a favorite color. Whenever someone asks me my favorite villager, I just shrug. I'm like, I don't know. I literally don't know. I, I there's there's a bunch I like, I guess, but yeah, I'm I'm infuriating to talk to because I don't have very simple things like favorite colors and stuff. It's Joey, and you know. I do like Joey quite a bit. I like Joey. He wears a diaper, and I relate to that. They bought out the BBC. No, they they didn't buy the BBC. They just bought the like American streaming rights to Doctor Who. If I, I might not even have that technically right, but Disney did something, and now all the Doctor Who is eventually going to be over there. For the U.S. What's my least favorite color? Gold. <laughs> Boongus, how's it going? At this point, I assume Disney owns everything. <laughs> okay. So one very straight path all the way into our new front yard. Do we want the house to be set further back? Wait, here's the thing. What am I gonna do with this space right here? I, maybe some trees? I could do some trees. Gold core lie. Oh, you know what I wanna do? I wanna do cliffs, that's right, because it's gonna be a canyon, so there's actually gonna be cliffs behind my house. Let's decide how many, like, how big this cliff is going to be. We can come right up to the rocks. So that's one, two, three, four would give us enough space to put a, a, a cliff on top that is two, you know, tiles thick. If we did five, we could get an additional layer on top, though. Not much of a canyon yet. Not yet. But if I, you know, obviously the, the further out we go with it, the more we uh, have to move our house and the more front yard we lose. I think five's probably a good number. But would six future-proof us a lot? If we did six, I think we can make some pretty good-looking cliffs. Let's try that. Let's let's try six. <laughs> We're all talking about Doctor Who now. It's my fault. I brought it up. I did that. We were terraforming. There wasn't much to talk about. And I was thinking about TV shows I can't watch right now. So what's this? Two, three... Four. Is the house, is the player's house really this small? I always felt like it was larger. Okay, so now this is the house. And we'll, we have a pretty good amount of cliff behind us. And we have a little area right here, so like... The canyon would taper off again, and we'd be able to take a path from here. This is where I might make, like, a custom path and make it, like, winding a little bit over to the secret beach. I don't even know if winding is the right word, but it would just kind of, like, you know, go over to the secret beach. Favorite companion? I don't know. There's lots of companions. 
So yeah, something like that. I think looks good. Um, we still need to determine where the front, like where the start of this yard is. And I think to do that, I need to figure out what kinds of crops I'm going to plant, how many of them. Player test is like the TARDIS. I saw that. Yeah, I saw that coming a mile away. <laughs> hmm. We have to we have to get some fences. I need I need to start measuring stuff. And I think with a combination of paths and fences we can do that. I think I just need to make some fences. Hmm. What's this? How many how many? Fifteen softwood. Okay, whatever fences I can make out of softwood, I'll use them. Which are going to be in here. Lattice fence. Ooh. Okay, I bet I bet I can actually get some use out of the large lattice fence. Am I gonna do a hybrid flower garden? I want to, yeah. I would love to do that. So I need a lot of space, right? Uh okay. I might need some more of those. Let's get a little bit more. Yeah, here we go. Are there Doctor Who Dream Islands? Oh, I'm sure. I think we've even been to one. Or at least one that had some references on it. I love the flower fields that are gradient. Oh, yeah, those always look cool. Dang it. There we go. It's always, it feels good when it goes in the storage. <laughs> Josie, you're having a bad day? Been cheered up? I'm glad to hear that. And no, please don't worry about, please don't worry about donating. Um, I'm just glad that you're feeling better. I've seen with an awesome Dalek pond. Oh, that would be so cool. I made a pattern flower field in my last island. Pattern flower field would look cool. It would just take up a lot of space. Um, I'm going to be selling the storage shed at the market on Sunday and the garden wagon if you need one. Ooh, I might. The Sunday is going to be a uh, lost race day for me, so uh, I won't be able to join you this Sunday. But if it's there next Sunday, I'll keep it in mind. Okay. I got some fences. That's the whole point of the blue phone box. I have to make some decisions now. Uh, first and foremost, how much front yard do I leave myself before the little farming area kind of starts? Do a Saturday market instead? Oh, I don't want to do that. I think I need to leave myself enough to where we can make a fun little path from here up to here. That's the first thing. Um, you think three rows would do it? I'm kind of thinking f four or five. Because if I want to make the path three wide by chance, then we want to leave enough space to like put stuff around it too. Where's the fence? Uh, let's try... I need to, uh, first thing in my shovel to count this out here. So this is the front of my house. One, two, three, that's four. And because dealing in odd numbers is easier, let's just do five to be safe. Let's let's dream big. And by the time we finish this, if we realize we, we don't have enough space, then we'll we'll scale back. Okay, so this would represent Farm number one, like this line right here is where the net, where the first farm starts. Now I want a gap between the path and the farm because if I decide to do alternating dirt and I stick with this dirt path everywhere, it's gonna connect and that's gonna bother me. So that's two, three, four, five. 
So gap here. Five here. Let's let's keep going. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Oh boy. Alright. So there's a gap, and then we start the farm. So let's just pretend. Oops. Let's pretend we're doing an alternating layout here. All right, what's this? So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, okay. It's better to deal in threes when it comes to farming because of the, the area of the watering can and stuff. So I think what I might do is go out one more, right? And that would mean the fence, that's not the fence, would also, this, this fence is just a marker. I'm not gonna use it like this, by the way, just in case you're looking at it going, this is ugly. Um, so the fence goes out to there and then I guess in theory, it would stop here if we were to actually fence it in. So that's what we're looking at. That's if we wanted, I think, the biggest farm possible. Bear in mind the house plot's five by four, but the that include the four includes the front door. You can place and you can place pathing there. So you have more front space than you have blocked. Okay. I'm more worried now about the width of this thing because we also want a canyon, right? Like we want to surround this in kind of a canyon. So if I go this far out with my crops, then I'm going to, you know, I'm going to lose that feel of this place being nested in a canyon. So I have to find a happy medium between those two things. So maybe what we do, let's scale this back now. We, we, we tried what it looked like with nine rows. Let's scale back now to six. One, two, three, four, five, six, plus one space is a buffer. Okay. Um, all right. So that's what it looks like with six, which is still kind of cool because as you're walking up, there'll be a ton of crops kind of surrounding you. Where are we at on the map? How far down are we? Okay. Interesting. So we've allotted a lot of space for our... Uh, yeah, for what we're doing here. Because that's this is one type of crop. This is like wheat. And how many are there? Are there five types? We have wheat, sugarcane, tomatoes, potatoes, carrots, and pumpkins. Could do three on one side, three on the other. Yeah, is this going to feel very canyony? I, I said sugar, yeah. So I think there's six types of crops. Plus, I want a flower garden. There's four types of pumpkins, but I probably wouldn't make a whole section just for that. I would just separate them. Still replacing path codes on both islands. I've been working on horticulture center for horticulture center for your garden island. Nice. Needs to be smaller. Hmm. I would say... I would say I agree. But I want enough, like, crops, too. I definitely don't want to be without crops. Because what I was thinking of doing was... Um, with each of these going down, like, by three, right? 
So we get like 18 from, you know, tiles, which is quite a bit. That like that'll feel really good to have. Hey Rachel, how's it going? I do wonder if I should pull this back one. Just given how much space this is all going to take up. Because very likely I'm going to want um, some spot, a spot in between each, or you know, a fence in between each crop. So, like that. Here, let's see if we can like, get rid of these trees. I like to thank you for the Canyon Duck song and I sing it in the shower every morning. <laughs> you are welcome. Thank composer Cleo. Oops. This is this is a lot of space. We're definitely uh, we're definitely taking up here in town. My axe. Darn it. Oh, how many was that? We got fifty. We've broken fifty axes. We're getting close. That's good. That's more than I thought. gonna make it from uh, this one do hard mode rules limit the amount of crops you can have hard mode rules limit the amount of crops I can sell you can only have a three by three plot for selling crops four three by three plots for selling crops and they must be in bunches of three to harvest so that's the uh, that's the rule I can have two more of these but that's for selling I can have as many crops as I want if I'm not gonna turn around and try and sell them so I'm taking advantage of that because I really want a big farm. That's kind of one of my dreams for my house is to have a really big farm. It's going to it's going to eat into some of the you know canyon ambitions that I have, but not so much. Like looking at this on the map, we can definitely bring the cliffs in more and I think get all the things we want out of this. I think we get to have our cake and eat it too here if, if it's going to be like I imagine. I came down here for a different reason. Oh, we gotta make an axe. That's right. I think that's gonna be inside because I gotta get some iron. Okay. And we're gonna have a river running through the canyon. I might put some water in there. I don't know if I can fit a river with all the, the way I'm designing this right now. <laughs> but it, yeah, it, maybe. Craft, yes. If you could add to the island Dairy Queen or Baskin Robbins. I don't know. Which one pays their employees good? Because I, I, want, I want the employees to be like, you know, happy. Oh, I need wood too. The axe is such an annoying tool to craft. I can't wait till the nooks start selling it. Oh, I have a theory, by the way, as to why my my nooks cranny hasn't opened up the uh, next version of itself yet. I never did the ceremony to celebrate the opening of nooks cranny. And I think it's stopping the game from allowing my store to upgrade. I've definitely bought out the store like every day. There's no way it should be taking this long to upgrade the store. Does anybody know if that's confirmed? Because I've been thinking that for a while. I think I have to actually hang out with everybody and do the stupid ceremony. Does it take a month? Ceremony doesn't matter. You, have, you don't have to do the ceremony. Okay, so I'm just being impatient. 30 days in a row and buying items. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Good. C 
because I don't like those ceremonies. I did them already on my first island. I don't want to do those again. Okay, 30 days and 200k purchases. All right, cool. Thank you. Whatever it is, I will keep buying stuff. I'll just wait. It would be, if it was the ceremony thing, it would be a cool trick to keep it as the, the old, you know, rickety Nook's Cranny building. Because I know, I know a lot of people like that design. Oh, I was going to get rid of this one too. There we go. What? Okay. And let's chop down all of these on this side. Oh, I'm so glad I have a net. <laughs> I used to know these little tidbits and stuff, but I deleted them from my brain. I just, after I finished my first island, I just didn't need to know this stuff anymore. This is a good start. Destroyer of the forest. That's progress. I gotta I gotta set aside some space for my farms. What am I supposed to do? Destroy the forest. It's just what I have to do. Don't you have guides you made? I didn't make a lot of Animal Crossing guides. By the time I started making videos, I was, you know, all the guides had been done. And I wasn't really interested in doing a lot of tutorials. I did a couple, but yeah. I I just like taking the game and doing silly things with it. Came to the stream thinking I could play some Harvest Moon while watching, but now I want to play Animal Crossing too. <laughs> What's this? It's a plant. Oops. Okay. Great. We we have some space cleared out. And now, uh, let's complete our farm layout. I think I'm gonna swap to just using the darker soil. Uh, and this is just to like visualize the farm. It might all end up being this. I might not do alternating this time. I don't really know yet, but the option will be open to us either way. So we need to do six of these. Three on one side, three on the other. And that'll be a good starting point. This will give us a really good idea of how big our front yard is going to end up being. This isn't that bad. Like, when you look at the map and the amount of space that I'm taking up, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Have to get ready for work. There's DQs on my way. I have to settle for Sonics. <laughs> Enjoy. Be safe. All right, so there's one plot... Right? This is lined up, right? Okay. Here's two. All right, and here's three. Cool. I 
think that's the same dimensions. I didn't count too well. So this is just for the crops. And then you guys are asking about a hybrid flower area. And I'm kind of thinking um, we could carve out a little place for ourselves in the canyon where I have like the hybrids kind of next to my house. What is hard mode? So hard mode is a custom rule set. Uh, it is simply a brand new island and we're playing the game with these rules in mind. And I know it looks like a lot, but a lot of these you end up kind of memorizing pretty easily. Um, it's all self-imposed. Nothing has changed about Animal Crossing. Uh, that's how that works. So the big thing about hard mode is the economy rules. Uh, that's what really makes it challenging and also fun. Because uh, on Sundays, that's the only day we can trade with other players. And we do what's called Sunday markets. So you can have up to five people visit your market, but you can go visit as many as you want. And people just kind of trade items. And since you can't use treasure islands or anything like that, uh, you know, the economy right now is just really interesting. Like, really mundane items are worth quite a bit to people because you can't get them any other way. So, it's a lot of fun. It's It's been really fun to play with uh, so many folks in the community. Like, a lot of people started hard mode islands. And so, yeah, it's been great. Uh, by the way, there is a section in our Discord now if you are playing hard mode. Uh, we have a Sunday market section, and we also just have a channel named hard mode. So, if you just want to have general general conversations about hard mode you can head in there yeah I like the lacy rug exactly or the wheat field right I've been buying those every day when is someone else going to make an animal crossing nuzlocke this well what would that be to you because this is basically that like a lot of people associate this with like a nuzlocke challenge so what would you change about hard mode to make it more in line with that? Yeah, I've been buying wheat fields as much as I can. I have a ton of them in my mailbox. Just so many. Okay, so these are my farm plots. I'll need to decide how much cliff I'm going to kind of build. And see about getting maybe a hybrid garden in here because I'm I'm really low on space for a hybrid garden. It could go somewhere else on the island. I'm gonna need little projects anyway. And maybe I just focus on like having a farm. But yeah. Okay. Let's build out the cliffs. Fainting equals permadeath. Hmm, yeah. That'd be rough in Animal Crossing, though. Oh my gosh. I feel like you'd have to allow time travel if you're going to do something like that. Well, hello, Emperor Butterfly. There we go. Okay. There. How much do I bring the cliffs in? And, okay, so do the cliffs start at my farm, or do they start a little bit before that point? That's the other question. Oops, that is not a net. That is a pole vault. <laughs> I guess I'll just beat the wasps off me with that. Oh, what's this? Floor sign. Wait, is this that one that's like a... Yeah, okay, that's boring. So you think the canyon starts to kind of encroach before you get to the farms? I suppose that could be a fun decorating opportunity. Be rough to restart every time your character passes out from wasps things. 
We're getting bit by spiders. Yeah. Definitely add to the stakes. With permadeath to continue the same island, a new character must be created, or the island has to be reset. <laughs> yeah, just like there are abandoned houses there. Mind your own business, bam, dead. Yeah, I don't think that would be super fun. I wouldn't I wouldn't want to play that mode. I guess I'm getting rid of this pond. Mandy, how's it going? Welcome. Sorry, pond. I know you did nothing wrong. But you gotta go. Gotta be done. Shame the pond kind of looked like a duck. Everyone keeps sending me this duck-shaped pond. So we probably will get a duck pond at some point. Nuzlocke, absolutely no villager hunting, all autofill. <laughs> no medicine unless the villagers give it to you. You have to you have to go around with wasp stings and like beg for medicine. Zena, enjoy your dinner. Angela, how's it going? Okay, I have a few things to figure out. I don't think I'm gonna use. I don't think I'm gonna keep a gap here. I think I wanna use this space to kind of decorate with the cliffs, make them a little bit imperfect. Mamie, how's it going? Uh, I have so much I gotta figure out. Okay, first of all, oh, another balloon. If you pass out, your favorite villager, wait, your favorite villager currently on the island has to leave and cannot return. <laughs> oh, so you think using uh, like amiibos or something to kick off your favorite villager? That could be interesting. So I'm bringing up the cliffs to the point where I'm kind of assuming we'll want to bring them. Uh, when it when it comes to like narrowing the space, so I'm I'm gonna leave a gap for now between the farm plots and the cliffs. But the idea is that some of them will stick out more than others. So I'm just kind of like leaving myself that that leeway. Best to just get like a, a flat structure first, and then kind of start sculpting it. rock here. I should probably smash this. Oops. And I misaligned myself. That's really annoying. Okay. Somehow got everything anyway. All right. Let's eat this. And let's test these trees real quick to make sure they're not full of danger. This one's probably fine, but you know what? It's looking at me funny. So it's gone. Copper, how's it going? How are you how are you still going? <laughs> Good though, since I couldn't come until now. 
we haven't been going for that long. Compared to some, some of the lengths of these hard mode streams, this isn't too bad. <laughs> I've definitely done longer. I, I really, in my head, I'm thinking like, by the end of the stream, we kind of have the layout done for our yard. It's not, I'm not expecting perfectly done cliffs with, with all the terraforming complete and waterscaping and all this stuff, but I am expecting it to be, you know, somewhat laid out. I want to feel confident because I'm about to move my house. I don't think I can because it's under construction because I paid off the loan, but I'm about to move my house. So I want to feel confident in uh, the, you know, the layout that I've chosen before I actually commit to, like, moving it. Okay, so we have our farms. They, they now have, well, one, one side has like the cliffs kind of where I expect them to start. And I'm kind of wondering if they, if should, should the canyon kind of start closing in a little bit as you get towards the entrance and then it kind of widens. It's hard, to, uh, it's hard to know. You're so daring to just clear cut. I'm always overthinking it. They can be replanted. I I used to save all my trees and stuff, but I got to a point where I realized this doesn't make a whole lot of sense because I only ever use a fraction of the trees I save anyway, and it only takes a few days to grow new ones. So I'd rather just get... I'm saving some right now. Like, I know I'm going to want some to model different areas with, but I, yeah, I don't, I don't need all of them. Oops. Okay. This is actually kind of working. So if you see where we're lined up right now, we're going towards the secret beach, but we're not actually blocking any of the beach. If we go all the way over there with this, it's not going to be a big deal. So this is actually really good. You plan so much better than I do in regards to layout. I always just start building and when I get an idea and then I'm not quite happy with the layout. Even even with all this planning I'm doing, I promise you there's going to be something, like once I'm very established, there's going to be something where I'm like, oh, if I had only moved the house one tile over to the left. Like there's always something, always. But I try my best to just kind of be prepared for any scenario. Okay. Because what I'm thinking for here is the, the canyon is actually going to start to come in a little bit. So remember, we were talking about making a path kind of where these holes were, and we would find ourselves going back to the secret beach. And so this cliff will like continue to come out a little bit. It'll be kind of narrow in here. Just a little, not, not too bad. It'll narrow up. So I'm just trying to think of how close I can get this section to this path. Maybe about like this. This path here. Well, we'll do it like we'll we'll make it come out to here. And it may still be a little bit winding, but I'm going to just start like just straight across. We can always sculpt it out later. Yeah, something like that. Oops. You know what make it more natural? Making your own path. No. <laughs> 
For this, I might. For this little part, I might. I haven't decided yet. Okay. I think this is going pretty good. We've done quite a bit of cliff math. Give me flashbacks to the Dinkum stream where you removed your house. So much planning and prep. That's what it takes. That's what it takes to get perfection and then still mess it up somehow. To fully experience hard mode, you have to make your own path. You must forge your own path. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so, canyon. On the outside of this thing, uh, we're just gonna kind of like go out to here. I don't know what this is all gonna look like outside of my house. So, I'm just gonna kind of do something like this for now. But these cliffs could end up going away, they could completely change, I have no idea. Measure twice, cut once kind of deal. Yes. That is exactly my strategy. Um, should I just make this solid? Should I just go? Yeah, right? I should just make it solid. Let's do that. Nice and easy. I'm just trying really hard not to skip sections, and I keep skipping sections. It's like the harder I think about it, the more mess-ups <laughs> there are. Since the canyon is yours, would that make it a Danyan? Um, you know what? Whatever floats your boat. If if that's <laughs> if that's helpful to to y'all, sure. Why not? Dang it. All right. We're getting this done. It's everything's going good. This is fine. Look at this. We're building a canyon. You're making me design... You're making me designing my hard mode island relaxing. I'm. Am I helping you design your hard mode island? Is that what you're saying? Is it because you can tell I'm stressed and you don't you don't envy me and so you feel relaxed knowing that you'll never be this stressed about the terraforming on your own island? Cause you know that's rude. I don't like being this way. This is a lot. This is a lot of work. This is a lot of work. And what if I get it wrong? What if it looks like crap? You don't sound stressed. I'm mega stressed right now. So stressed. What if I mess this up? What if we do all this work and I'm like, actually, I hate canyons. And then I have to tear it all down and find something else. Something about the swoosh swoosh chunk of the terraforming is soothing. I keep screwing it up though. If I mess it up, start a whole new island? Is that, yeah, is that how permadeath mode works in Animal Crossing? Then you do it again, no one is hurt, all good. What? We've been live for almost three hours. I don't have that kind of time to start over. All right, got one more line over here to fill in.
Look at this canyon. This is awesome. This is going to be so good. Everyone is going to be so jealous of Canyon Duck. Because it's going to have canyons, it's going to have ducks. And everyone else is like stupid names for their island, like Vanilla. What are you supposed to do with that? There's not even vanilla in the game. So, like, how are you supposed to build something that represents your island name when it doesn't even exist? 24-hour stream. Oh, my gosh. No, I can't do that. <laughs> That's, like, dangerous. People who do that, I mean, kudos to them. But I could not do that. Not only would I, you know, you know, I want to fall asleep after about eight hours, but I would get so bored. <laughs> Just, I can't do the same thing for that long. I disapprove of 24 hour stream. Yeah. Then what's Bringsbane supposed to do? Bananas back. Welcome back. Twenty-four hour streams would be so good for naps though, your voice is really relaxing. Yeah, good for you to take naps. What about me? What about my naps? Why does no one care about the naps that I need? I'm glad that I can sacrifice my body for your naps. What the heck? I've never been so insulted. This is an outrage. Oops. Oh, oops. I don't know what... Oh, there's my battery gone. I don't know what Carbon Duck is. What Canyon Duck was from a random name generator. I'm going, I'm going, game. Just chill out. Give me a moment. There we go. Yes, another balloon. I love that we're getting so close to the golden slingshot. I think we are anyway. I've just been popping so many balloons. Skeleton. Excellent. Dark milk or white chocolate? I don't know. I don't need chocolate. All right. Here we go. What about the executive assistant cat? We're popping in and out. You've done a lot. We've been we've been hard at work. It's been getting done. I'm pretty excited. What are you doing? Chocolate questions, new Splatfest. Oh, see, I'm not a Splatoon player. So that's probably why I didn't get the reference. I'm still wondering how this is all going to like... Like how... Like I should get rid of this pond, right? It's definitely in the way. Who's the executive assistant? Everyone talks about my cat being the executive assistant. Cat likes to decide when the stream ends by jumping on the cables behind the computer. It usually does the trick. Best cat, but there are better cats. Captain Dumbface is not the best cat, I promise you. Cats are not assistants, they are rulers. <laughs> That's the exact kind of attitude that makes them so confident. You have to stop treating them like that. How can you not eat chocolate that's so sad? I... <laughs> what? I'm sorry. I don't feel that bad about it. Alright, let's 
take this cliff a little bit further down. I really don't know how far. The right side's coming down a bit farther than the left side. And they don't have to be even. This is where the symmetry kind of goes away. Um, but I got to get them kind of close so that I can kind of sculpt them the way I want. Our poor lottery area is going to have to go away. Just tuning in, watching my four-month-old daughter. Well, welcome. How are you? My rabbit likes to rule me. <laughs> Lisa, what? No. Not again. Not this again. Do you have any other pets? I had a plant once. I was going to clean up my pockets are full. Okay, well, that stinks. Let me sell these fences. Oh, I can't sell them in here. Never mind. I'll, I'll sell them later. Okay, I don't know. Something like that. Something like that. I was thinking it would be cool if the canyon started off kind of narrow and opened up. Um, so now I want to do that section. We have, we have the wider area of the canyon where we're going to be doing our farming. And we got to figure out the, the back behind the house, too. I haven't quite decided what the heck that's going to look like. Maybe I should do that first. I don't mind the areas being super hollow right now. I'm just kind of... Let let's see where these connect. And then we were talking about maybe leaving some space for a, uh, a hybrid flower area. And if that's the case, then we might we might kind of like craft this up into a certain shape. I guess the first thing we'd want to do is figure out, well, how many hybrids, how big is that area? And if we make a little path going off of here and it goes boop, 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 and it's like over here. It can't be too large, right? It'd be next to the house, I imagine. And I always like to do like the hybrids in three by three areas. So this would be one. If I skipped a space. Okay, okay, wait a minute, we could probably do this. The hybrid garden could be on the second level with a ramp. Now, wait a minute. That's a good idea. I'm going to forget you suggested that, but I, I really genuinely love that idea. Okay, we're doing that. Because I was about to, like, really cram this thing in here. But let's do that. Let's do your idea. That's a cool idea. We're doing that. I don't know how that's going to look yet, but we're doing it. I will build a ramp somewhere in here. Um, ramps are always two spaces wide. So let's just, let's see. One. This is the center, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Uh... I think then if that's the case, instead of that, I'll just, when I design this cliff, like the final version of it, I'll I'll make room for that. I won't, I won't sweat it right now because it's a brand new idea and I don't exactly know how that's going to look. Yeah, I'm thinking the ramp will collide with the canyon wall. I, it just needs to... I need to naturalize the area first. But yeah, let's let's just kind of fill this in for now. I'm just trying to get the basic, basic shape. I need to see how 
large the area is going to be. At this time, I'm very committed to the layout as it is. I like where the house is. I like where the farm plots are. I think it's going to look really cool once it's all filled with crops and decorations. We left ourselves a gap between the farm, uh, the actual farm dirt and the path, which means we can put little lights and trees all along. The, like, we can do all this cool stuff. I vote making your own path to naturalize. Yeah, yeah. Like, if I manage to make myself a little dirt path, which I might attempt, um, the more I do this, the more I'm like, oh, that would be cool. Uh, then, yeah, I would do that. I dedicated almost a quarter space to growing hybrids for four months until I got all of them. Yeah, once I got all the hybrids, I kind of tore down my hybrid garden in my last island. But uh, is a canyon just a giant hole in the earth? Uh, that's kind of how I interpret it. Like, it, a canyon to me is, whether it's a hole in the earth or whatever, like when you're standing inside of it, it looks kind of like this, right? Where there's like a wall around you, a natural rocky wall that's really tall. So that's what I'm trying to make is like a, a canyon wall around here and the more I build the more I like this I like the house backed up against the canyon I like the idea of like a ramp over here in the future I love the idea of a path coming out and going over to the secret beach um it's in it it all is with these little canyon areas we're making so yeah this is gonna look so good like the more I do the more I want to continue doing things because it's just looking so good If I can get the entrance of this thing nailed down, if we can nail this, oh my gosh. I'm gonna be so excited. It's nice to build an outline and picture everything. Yeah, exactly. I find myself doing that with a lot of my designing. Just, just get an outline down. See how it feels. And usually, nine times out of 10, hey, no, 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 chow, that's mine. Nine times out of 10, I commit to it. Look at us. Yeah, you better clap. You're not having this. It's mine. This thing's worth way too much. I can't care anymore. Uh, swap it. Clay. <laughs> not me reading Trash Island with thumbnail thinking Dan was making his island into a landfill. No, the landfill is down here. Um, this is oh, this is why it's a trash island. Because I have no storage anymore. I'm gonna lose this. Oh, whew. okay, that was close. If it went over those fossils, I would have lost it for sure. I need to give Chow an aloe plant. <laughs> we got one of those in New Leaf yesterday. We did our members only stream yesterday and got an aloe plant and everyone thought it looked like weed and they were making weed jokes and it was really obnoxious. If you build a restaurant in the canyon, the villagers can gorge themselves. Oh my gosh. No canyon puns. You stop that. I wish I could commit to an island idea, or to an idea my island looks horrendous. I'm just, uh, I'm forcing myself to commit to something. Whenever, whenever I get an idea for something, just the first idea, I just keep, like, going with it. I thought, why don't I put my house towards the back of the island and we'll nest it in a canyon? I could have considered different neighborhood layouts or all this other stuff. No. I'm like, nope. That's good enough for me. And then I'm going with it. Fallen Angel, welcome to the Billionaires Club. Thank you so much for joining. Appreciate you. Hope to see you in the next New Leaf stream. I don't know when it's going to be, but it, uh, it will be eventually. and It'll be fun. We canyon help ourselves. Yes, you certainly can. Stop it. Oops. Oh my gosh, I need water. Okay. Your voice is definitely calming. Well, right now it's it's kind of dying, but I'm going to have some water. But thank you. Appreciate you. We could quack out the duck puns. I don't get it. What does that mean? Oh, that's better. Okay. 
I guess I should try the crossing minute method. <laughs> <TM>. Yeah, just uh, first idea you get, just commit to it. Like crack out. Is crack out a phrase? Let's crack this out. Is that a thing people say? Crack, quack. I don't, I think you guys are making that up. I think you've run out of canyon and duck puns. You don't want to repeat yourselves. So you're just trying to like m make up phrases that people say, but they don't actually say those things. It's a thing. I don't think it's a thing. Let's crack this out. Crank. Crank it out. I heard... Yeah, I've heard... Yeah, let's crank this out. You quake me up. Okay, well, that's not... That's not anything. That's not... That's not quack. Okay. I need to figure out how many tiles I want between the path and the, the new cliff here I'm trying to make. But let's start with two... So let's say the canyon starts there. This is where it, it it's like, you know, whoa, what's this narrow, strange looking area? And how far down is this? Okay. Uh, it's not terribly far down. That's not too bad. I don't know what it means for the river in the future, because I was going to actually take that river that I made at the south end of the island and maybe, you know, start going north. So I don't know what it means for that. But that's okay. I'm not... That's future Dan's problem. I'm not worried about that guy. He's a schmuck. I'm worried about all the space between the entrance of this canyon... And my farms. Like, maybe it should actually start a little bit farther back. Because what am I going to do with all that space? Zach, thank you. I appreciate you. How's it going? Had to step out after the cheese coffee talk. Did I miss anything? <laughs> um, yeah, we're, we're getting our canyon set up. It's looking good, I think. Oops. Oops, I don't think I wanted to... Uh, okay, I just wanted to go two... That's three. I really missed my pro controller already. Okay, there we go. And then I was going to start tapering it in like this. Let's go maybe three on this side. Okay, and then we'll come in like this. And we're kind of out of space. So I, I think in order to make this kind of the way I wanted to... We do need to actually start the canyon back here. That'll give me some more tiles to work with. Why not a river through the canyon? I was thinking of doing that from like, uh, for like having it on like the edges, you know? And I might. But the way I'm designing this right now, I don't know where to put it. Gina Mouse, how's it going? I think I'm saying your name right. One side can be longer than the other. That's true. They shouldn't be super symmetrical at this point. Um, so yeah, let's let's keep that in mind too. And I'm more just telling myself that. Oops. Okay. Uh, so. That's kind of what I'm thinking for this part of the canyon. Okay, it starts to kind of like open up. Let's have this one start up here more. Right? And we'll we'll change the the pattern of of it opening up. Maybe we'll even come out a little bit. Like, we can, we can really mix this one up, and, like, we'll come out, and then we'll come back in. Mm, 
Maybe we'll go in by three tiles now. One, two, three. And then we'll come in like this. And like this. And so like now it would be, oops, I messed that one up. It would connect like here. In terms of the shape, dang it, what do you guys think? Like, have we done good work? Is that going to look natural when all said and done? Could be a waterfall at the start of the canyon and through it. Yeah, like we could, we could, if we can get a waterfall going right around here and have it go into the river. That could be kind of cool. And yeah, we could have some, yeah, like some water going through it somewhere could be like interesting. Looking great. Looks great so far. Okay. 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 Cool. I'll take all that. I'll take those compliments. Looking grand. Right. When you said, what if there was like water running through it? I got an idea. I don't know if this is a great idea. It kind of... It's kind of interesting though. I got the idea to maybe put a bridge. So imagine walking up this path and there's a river and you have to go over a bridge, but you're already on the property. So there's farms and everything else. What that would mean is a huge overhaul. I'd have to do a few things in order to keep the symmetry look I was trying to go for. Um, I would have to Let me think about this. I have to make the path four wide, which is what I originally wanted anyway, which is why this is tempting to me because the bridge is two tiles wide. So it kind of fit perfectly, it was four wide. I would have to move the farm plots quite dramatically to fit a river, even a small one. Which means the, the canyon would have to start even lower to the south. It would be kind of a whole thing. It'd be a big big overhaul of what we've done so far um it would be cool i'm not denying that it'd be very natural looking but with with the kind of symmetry thing we got going on here oh it would be kind of a nightmare too so i like that as an idea i just don't think i want to do that what i could do though and i i don't know if i have the space now but as a compromise I could put, do the bridge at the entrance of the canyon. We could do that. I could do a few things. I can do a small river. Just move the canyon a little to the left. That's, uh, that's a lot. I could do a small river somewhere in here and put like a tiny bridge that goes up to the ramp we're talking about making, but I don't know if I'll room for that. It's very, it's very tight in there. The other thing I was thinking is we could do something outside the canyon because this path, this is gonna be a very long road to nowhere. Um, so what if the bridge went horizontally somewhere? Um, like what if, what if we took like a left turn or a right turn and there's a little bridge with a, with a river going under it, but it led somewhere else. Like, you know how we're talking about a hybrid garden? up, Basically up there. Maybe there's a second way to get to it. So we, we'd cross a bridge where there's a river. We'd jump over the river, you know, with the bridge. And then we'd walk up here. There'd be a ramp going up to this platform. And it would get you the hybrid garden. That could be kind of cool. It's all the gold core island being one tile off all over again. This is why I was afraid to change the, the width of the paths. But I had to make a choice between... Do I center the path with the house or do I allow it to be off center? Maybe, you know, I could do a four wide path. I'm not super afraid of it because what I would do is I would probably do it here and the house would just be off center, deliberately way off center so that you couldn't say like, oh, Dan messed up. Like I, it would look very deliberate, but I like the idea of the path centered so much that I'm happy to do the narrower streets. We'll keep the thick roads by the, the quote-unquote city part of town. 
and the thinner roads for like the neighborhoods and stuff. So I'm gonna keep it the way it is, but I, I love I love the ingenuity. I think we might do a river with a bridge over it very close by, but not in the canyon. Did you see the duck shape on Twitter? Yes, um, I did, yeah. Um, it was sent to me in Discord. I'm not really on Twitter very much these days. So if you guys tweet at me or anything and I don't answer, it's mostly because I'm avoiding that place like the plague. Uh, so yeah, that's that's one thing. The best way to reach me nowadays would probably be Discord. Definitely be Discord, like because it's not Twitter. But I did see it. All right. So now we just gotta fill all this in. And we can start to see this kind of like uh, in action here. But I'm so bad at Discord. <laughs> yeah, I know it's not the same. Listen, I didn't want to leave Twitter, but I can't be on there anymore. I don't I don't have a good feeling about Twitter anymore. But it sucks to lose that as a resource. This is looking pretty cool. We'll definitely need to do some work on the front of the canyon to make it look natural. Um, this is not its final form. But it's looking good. Let me, I can't pick this up, but let me at least push it out of the way. Never understood Twitter, never liked Twitter. Yeah, I think as of right now, like, not being on Twitter is not like a super important, uh, you know, detriment to me personally. Like, a lot of the Animal Crossing community does not exist on Twitter. Graham has it going. There's plenty of Animal Crossing going on on Twitter, just not a ton. So, in that sense, not a huge loss. But, uh, for the, the just in terms of networking and people use it for business and everything like that, severe loss. Very big. I used to go there to get new design codes, but Discord server that compiles all of them. Oh, I usually find them on Reddit, and I just try and save the Reddit posts. Instagram's a good place to find design codes as well. I might need to find that Discord, though, because, uh, yeah. There's a game, I've talked about it before, a bunch of you have said you've played it before, it's called Plate Up. It's, uh, it's a fun cooking game. And there are, if you're familiar with Minecraft, you might be familiar with the concept of seeds. Basically, the maps are randomized, but you can take a, a random string of letters and numbers and use them to get the same map over and over by typing in the seed code, right? Well, there's in the Plate Up Discord, there's like a whole bunch of seeds that people put in there and compile the same way you're talking about with the paths. And so that's it's pretty cool because I can just go on there from playing the game and browse different seeds. And I never considered someone might have done that for, you know, design codes. Pinterest is good for codes? Yeah. Definitely. I'm really loving the way this is turning out. This is great. Oops. So I think we get the layout done today. And then when we stream tomorrow, we're going to do some detailing on it. I think tomorrow's when we get more of the cliffs built on top of these ones to, to really give it that tall canyon feel that it needs. And then waterfalls and rivers, all that stuff. Waiting for you to accidentally release 
the spider or sell it. <laughs> I need to, yeah, I need to donate that. I'm going to have huge regrets if anything happens to that spider. I'm newer. Do you only stream on Friday, Saturday, Sunday? As of right now, yes. Um, I Sometimes in the middle of the week I'll do something. And uh, right now, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is very intense for me. Like, I, I wasn't streaming three days a week before, but uh, I've started to because of hard mode. It probably won't always be three days. Blue over green, we'll see you later. Okay. So, Damn, the duck song. I, I did play at the beginning, but it is on YouTube now. It's just on the channel. I need to catch these snowflakes. Um, because there's a ton of them here, and I need them. Oh my gosh, and I miss. Am I just going to miss all of them? Damn, withdrawals all week. Um, I'm trying to make more time for a New Leaf stream for the members. So... Be on the lookout for those. We did one yesterday. But yeah, it's right now it's a pretty intense streaming schedule for me. Cool. Okay. Okay. We we did good work here. We filled in the cliffs. Um, we have the canyon kind of naturalized in terms of its shape. I, I hope that's good. Um, it kind of, it starts off a little bit narrow for not too long, and then it opens up and we get our farms. And what I'm thinking of doing with all these little corners is just smoothing them down like this. Although all that did was make one really big diagonal line right here so I don't I don't love that let's see let's see what this looks like okay so there's that and then we come in like this okay that's not too bad It does feel like it needs a, a bit more chunkiness right here, but maybe we could put a cool decoration instead. Cloud cliffs. Yeah, I don't like sharp edges on the cliffs. I'm not a big fan of that. Let me look at the map. Okay. It, it needs more variation in the middle for sure. But yeah, this isn't too bad. It's not great. Um... Right now, it's very, very not great, but that's fine. We were just wanting to get we were wanting to get the layout done, and I think we did that. Um, the only other thing I could do is drag these cliffs out even more, like like pull them down further south to have a, a longer stretch of path where it's just narrow. And I might do it. I have to think about it. Oh, wow. Hello. <laughs> one sure your reaction, but I can't remember what it was. It was that one. If you forgot something, you're mistaken, just like that. Sweet. The volcano would look good to make it look more rocky. Oh, yeah, the volcano item. I also have to fill this in, too. I forgot. So, let's do that. It won't take long. We're gonna we're gonna get this place chiseled out in such a way that it will look a little more natural. But uh, yeah, I think it would help a lot if I allowed that canyon kind of cliff to start even lower. So happy my first villager hunt ended with sky on your fourth ticket. Oh wow, congrats! I wish I was able to get Sky's photo, but I was not. <laughs> Sky wanted to leave, and I had to let Sky leave. 
Termite mounds might help, but you need a lot of them. Yeah, the termite mounds, I've seen people use those and have them look cool, but I don't personally love that for me, like, like spamming those. Using a few is, is fun. I just, I, some people use tons of them to make their canyons. That's too many. I don't, I don't want to, like, overdo it. It's so sad. Yeah, cherish your time with Sky if you're playing hard mode. Um, you have to let them go if they want to go. I still don't have Rory's photo, by the way. I give Rory a gift every single day. Still no photo. It's torture. Yeah, I think it was Lyra who got Sky. So uh, my Sky ended up with someone else uh, in the community, which is cool. I like that. I'm glad the villagers are going to good homes and not just kind of sitting in the abyss. So I appreciate that. All right. You just started. It seems so early for him to leave. Oh, yeah. And it was a while ago, too. Like, I felt like they just moved in. Rory wants to stick around. I Yeah, I need Rory's photo. And then he can go. I need Sherry's photo. Then she can go. And then I can start trying to get the photos of the other villagers. But as of right now, Rory is just holding out on me. And that stinks. Okay. So this fills in that area nicely. Cool. Basic layout complete for now. Still need to decide what we're going to do about the physical canyon element. It may need to come down a little bit more. And if that's the case, that's fine. That's really not the worst thing. Um, I'm 99.2% sure Tom Nook is not going to let me move my house. But because I'm stubborn, I'm just going to ask anyway. Maybe he's dumb and he'll he'll forget that he also needs to remodel it overnight. It To me, it's easier. If you're going to do a big remodel anyway, it's easier to move the house at the same time. If you're going to be tearing a bunch of stuff down, you might as well, you know move the house as well like why not i think because if i talk infrastructure mark is precious thank you um let's see what it lets me do layout changes um an island home the shop museum taylor's camp so yeah your house is like a separate i have to go into like the my house thing uh we can move a house. We can move an island home. But I don't want to. You got Max photo within two months? Oh my gosh. Okay, that's fine. So I can... My house will be remodeled tomorrow and I can move it the next day. Let's go to the museum and donate the spider. I do not want to lose this thing. Got a lot done. Yeah, we did. All right. Donate. There it goes. He's going to love this. Ah, spider. No, you're fine. Just put it away. Once you unlock Katrina, then gathering friendship is going to be so much easier. That's a good point. Yeah, we can we can bribe Katrina into giving us friends. Really good point. So Katrina comes tomorrow. We already we already did spend the money and unlock Katrina's place. So that's tomorrow. 
can get my house upgraded tomorrow, which means hopefully I can clear up a lot of this crap in my front yard. Should I move my crops? Should we just do that now? My inventory is full. I kind of, I kind of want to. I want to move the crops because I can like plant new ones too. Now seems like a good time to do that. I'm so done with the island being covered in snow. I hate it. Am I excited for the race Sunday? I am. I am excited. I think that's going to be pretty awesome. Let's go put the bugs over here. I was afraid to accidentally press like release. Place. I guess you just drop everything everywhere. Yep. <laughs> yes. That's how I solve my problems. I'm going to drop the fences out here. I might just sell these tomorrow. Some stuff everywhere. Offended, we'll see you later. It's not much longer. February 25th is here quicker than you think. Or just time travel if you aren't against it or playing on hard mode. Wait, what are we talking about? What's on February 25th? How am I able to fit so many things in my storage just now? Oh, did I, did I miss a balloon? That's okay. Um, here, let me drop some items. I'm just trying to get my inventory cleared up. I, I'm thinking of moving, moving these crops. I need some space. Uh, yeah, we'll put this stuff over here. Oh, that's when the snow goes away. Oh. Really? February 20th? I thought it was longer. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, February 25th. That's not bad at all. Oh, this place is going to look weird with that snow. <laughs> I've only seen it with uh, snow. All right, we'll bury that. Neptune, we'll see you later. Have a good one. These are all fully grown gyroids. I just have no place to put them. So I've not dug those up yet. Okay. Let's work on our crops. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to dig all these up, I guess. Tearing down my yard. I'm doing it. Do I have a favorite crop? <laughs> you know what? I do. It's wheat. Uh, because wheat is the catalyst for, like, everything. You need wheat for everything. It's so infuriating. I can't fit all this stuff in my pockets, but that's okay. We'll we'll start here. All right. 
Uh, I have three left and six more little plots. Do I have anything else I can drop? I guess the excess crops I can get rid of for now. What I would like to do is plant some of this stuff too. So we'll drop this, we'll drop this, these. I'll keep the white ones because I'm gonna plant. I'm trying to get like an even amount of all those. Okay, and that should be enough to get the rest of the pumpkins up. I thought you didn't have favorites. Well, in this case, um, it helps me make more money to choose wheat, so wheat. There. All right, crops are picked up. All right, let me think about the layout of our, of our fields here. So I want the tall crops in the back and the short crops in the front. So I think potatoes and pumpkins will go in the front, but what are the other crops? There's, oh, and carrots are short too. So, okay, sugarcane and wheat in the back. I'm thinking wheat here, sugarcane here. Tomatoes here. Do you think, what do you think? Potatoes and carrots or pumpkins, one or the other? That's probably a safe bet. Yeah, let's do potatoes here, pumpkins here. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, if I stand in the middle, I should be able to just plant these down everywhere around me. Perfect. And then if I want to plant more, I think I actually have to dig holes for these ones because, yeah, drop, eat, grab. Okay. Oops. This is for cooking, right? Because the rules say you're only allowed four through it. Yes, correct. This is for cooking. I am not going to sell um, any of these by themselves, to be honest. But I will cook them and sell them. That I will do. I really hope <laughs> that when I continue decorating this, I'm committed to these farm plots where they are because, oh my gosh. Digging these things back up. No thank you. Why am I planting so many? Because I want to cook them into different meals, and uh, to do that I want a lot of crops, and I want to also be able to sell those meals for lots of money. Aside from turnips, I think this farm is going to be how I make the majority of my cash, but I have to, you know, sell. Thank you, Kato. I think pumpkins here, we said, right? Because this be carrots, tomatoes, wheat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I need to decide a pattern for these pumpkins, because we have six different rows and we have four different types of pumpkins I think we'll go orange on like what do you think every other one or wait maybe it's orange orange oh geez Getting this symmetrical somehow is not going to be easy for me. What if we... Okay, let me think. Let me think. There's four types, right? Orange, green, white. And there's like a lighter orange that I don't have, huh? Is that the case? Am I missing one? I'm missing one. Yellow. There's a yellow one. I thought I had them all, but I don't. 
Well, shoot, that's confusing. Yeah, I don't have all of them. Okay. What if... Hear me out. What if we did orange on the on the edges, then yellow, and then so orange, yellow, green. Maybe, I, I don't know. Mm. There's no way to get like a. a uh, in one plot, there's no way to get this. Do you need another color? Cyrus customized the spooky furniture without pumpkins. I, I guess I don't need it. I'm just I'm trying to think for aesthetics, like how I want this to look, and I want all the different pumpkins represented. So, jeez, uh, okay. You can always reset once you've unlocked power models. Randomly scatter them? I guess I could if I wanted. To. I don't, I don't want to really randomly scatter them, I don't think. What we could do. What if we did this? What if we do kind of a unique design here? So, what if this was all orange? And then we did yellow on the outsides. And then we did like green and white. I don't know, that could be something. Two rows of each. But that doesn't leave room for the extra color. Okay, and then I'm thinking green here. So there's be three of them. And then white on the other side. So we put this here and plant two more white ones. Yeah. And once I get more pumpkin seeds or whatever, I'll try and get some yellow pumpkins. Um, and we'll put those on the, on the outside corners. Cool. I think that'll look good. Let's water everything. Yeah, sprinklers would be amazing. Oh, did it not get these down here? What the heck? Okay, that should be all of them. Yes, okay. Oh, I think I skipped them. Nope, I got it. Okay, that's my crops watered. Awesome. That is fantastic. So yeah, we, we've got our crops moved. I'll have to uh, tear up my yard and stuff. Um, once we, once we get ready to make that path. That's all good. That's fine. Looking good. 
This is this is good. I'm really excited. What's in here? Pendulum clock. I just okay. I just threw it. That's <laughs> uh, okay. It goes on the wall. That's why. That would be why. And then there was another one over here, wasn't there? Um, or was it down here? Yes. Okay. What is this? Five more clay. Fantastic. I still have Kato's money here, by the way. <laughs> uh, do you have other crops in storage somewhere? I don't. All I have right now are pumpkins and potatoes. So, hopefully soon, I can get my hands on some other ones. I'm going to try and unlock Leaf. Probably next. Uh, so tomorrow we might make that investment. I knew I was missing money. I have it. It's just sitting right here. It's been sitting in my front yard for days. Cool. We did great. I wish I could move my house, but that's fine. That's all good. All right. So, tomorrow, we'll be live tomorrow. Um, and that's all I got. We are going to raid Koi. We're going to raid our friend Koi, who's playing Animal Crossing. I don't know if it's hard mode, um, but it does look like a pretty fresh island. So, yeah, stay tuned. Lexi, how's it going? Um, we are we are doing a raid. So, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow afternoon-ish. We'll be doing some more island decorating, but for now, I'm going to redirect you over to Koi. Um, thank you so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll see you Sunday for the Lost Race at 2 p.m. Eastern. Don't forget. And uh, yeah, it's been awesome. We got a ton of stuff done. Excited to see you again. And that's it. I'm just rambling now. Have a great night. I will catch you all later.